Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to another broadcast of Shimmy Space Quest, where though playing is useless, planning is essential to our cause, which is to quest into space. I'm your host, Shimmy. How's everybody doing today? Uh, and we are starting a new, a new day, a new year, just new save, just new everything today. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up Kerbal Space Program, and let's go ahead and do our thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, the song, so good. Yes, that was Jupiter by Gustav Holst, Holst um, a Planet Suite. What is up, friends? Hello, peeps. Hello, Matt, Ipeer, Spaceman, Daring, Exer, Mariner, Ma Mariner, I, I suppose. Make one be. Mm, I already said Matt. Cube Gem, Ordok, and other Zephod. Coffee, 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 coffee. Steven J61, what's going on? <laughs> All right, as we go ahead and just load the game up here and talk about what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and have a very special guest. Let's go ahead and ring a ring, ring a ling a ling. All right, I'll go ahead and turn that down about like here. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Is anybody home? Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up, Coffee? How's it going? Good. How are you going, my I'm, friend? I'm doing pretty well. Starting a new game here. Um, yeah, so we're back to 6.4 scale. Um, the, nice. The, the scale that is um, difficult but not impossible with stock balance. Um, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. I had worked a couple months on previous... Uh, on, on a previous scale, music's really loud, I'm gonna turn that down, uh, on previous scale, or previous, you know, 0 0.25 with 6.4 scale, uh, had a lot of fun with that, had quite a few mods, um, and this update happened, and I, you know, started working on the, uh, playing some update stuff, uh, the new update, and I didn't really go back to it initially, um, you know, wanted to wait for all the mods they use to update and, and whatnot, um, so anyway, the, I, I went and tried to get it working again, and there were just too many mods that had too many just small little problems, and it pretty much just borked my save every single time I tried to mess around with it. So, I mean, unfortunately, the only really thing I would have been able to save in my old, in my old save is the base on Minmus, and that would have been it. Um, everything else would have null-reffed disappeared or act weird 
Um, was in the wrong spot. All sorts of all sorts of weird things. But yeah, so that is the way it is. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to start over again. Uh, but we're not gonna go directly for Minmus mining. I've done that like two or three times already in in previous uh, stream uh, campaigns and YouTube. So somebody kept saying coffee. Uh, coffee. They're telling. They're calling me coffee for some reason. No, they. Uh, they, they said. Shimmy, you should go to Duna. You should go to Duna. Duna base, Duna base. I'm like, all right. Actually, that ain't a bad idea. I haven't done any sort of Duna base in quite a long time, so we're going that to Duna. She could be fun, dude. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. The the I I'm, I like Duna. I'm I'm sorry. I just I like Duna a lot. I don't go to Duna as often as I'd like. A hop, scop, and a gump. Yep, exactly. Alrighty. Nice. So, <laughs> show me the coffee. Yeah. Uh, show me the KK? No, that's just weird. Nah, yeah, no, they've called me that before, like last year when I kept going cripples. Uh, I guess it might be time for that to happen again. Uh, because we killed more cripples in the previous save, so yeah. Um, it's an ooh, unfortunate ooh, quick thing. Quick question. Yes? While I, while, I, while I have your attention. Yes? Have you changed the chatty font on your stream? So the, the, the text, the, the thing that you're using to show chat. Is that different? Yes, I did. Is it bad? Oh, no, it's good. It's very readable. Yes. Much more readable. Um, That's I'm, the thing. I'm using Google's Open Sans font now for most of the things. Yes, good lad. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> Much better. High five. Very nice. Carry yes. On. Internet high five. Yay. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, also I did switch to a new um, stream notifier thing. So, nice. it's going to work a little bit differently now. Um, I'm going to need to get used to it. Uh, if anybody does follow, um, I might not be able to read your name instantaneously, but I will be able to pull up the information. So, But it, it's a little bit more convenient for me uh, because I don't have to do a, a screen, uh, uh, just a window capture or anything like that. So Yeah, because you can just have it feeding straight into OBS. Yep, it's you? feeding straight into OBS. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm on the wall for OBS at this point. I'm so close to switching, it's not funny. Um, but it's just a couple of things it doesn't do that I wish it would do. Like it, the, the, the problem I have is that because of my crappy internet, I'm taking advantage of GPU rendering to improve just the overall quality of the um, video. Mm -hmm. And OBS doesn't have that yet, I don't think. The, um, although it might do now. It didn't for a very long time. Alrighty, thanks for following Sky Clan. Welcome to the welcome to the quest. So I am able to read it on 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 OBS. I really just have to capture it, just just grab it. Also, I did a new uh, animation. I worked like about eight hours on that the other day. So <laughs> yes, alrighty. Oh, I like that. It's very short though. Yeah, it is very short. Mm. The no the donations are longer. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not, no. You don't need to donate anymore, but any, anybody, anybody in, in, in the stream. That's... Yeah. Anyway. No, I'm just looking at it, I was just thinking it's <laughs> it's almost like I barely even caught what happened and it's just like, it's so very quick. I don't know if you want to take it longer, but anyway, I'll leave it up to you. It's fine. <laughs> All right. And it's a very nice animation and it's way too short. So, um... Starting the new save, 0 0.90 JSEA, or no, I did, no, I did JSEA, Jaws, Jawas, JSEA, J, J, JSEA, 90. There we go. That's the easiest way. Let's go ahead and pick our flag, which is JSEA. There we go. Start. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, got Werner von Kurt. No, that's Gene Kerman. Yep, he's just telling me things I already know. Uh, attack life support is telling me, blah, you're doing things. What the heck is this? That's ScanSat. Okay. Um, Kerbal Construction Time, I do have that installed again. Uh, I will just go ahead and use the default 45 points for upgrade to get to keep everything, you know, nice and balanced here. So, basically nice. what I do here is I just kind of give the first rate uh, about one build point per second the second rate the same and then I do the same thing for the space plane hangar but only one build rate Wow and that's it oh, okay so that's all of the available point oh, of course because yeah. you're using um, you're using is it 
Oh, this is um, Sandbox, isn't it? Yeah, Sandbox. You know, I could give it more, but I just like, ah, the default's fine. I don't need to yeah, you know, worry so about good. that. So, yeah, anyway. Build a Geo 90 rover. What? And uh, what mods do I use? I have updated the mods command and the mod list down below. Go ahead and check those out. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and double check far. I'm not all for arrow failures if I have deadly re-entry, like you said. So I have that off. Trouble construction yeah. time is there. Have you figured out a way to, like, not make active texture management? Um, do, like... Do the buttons? Yeah, fuzz out all my buttons. Okay, yep. So what you need to do is go to your and find structure on this now and you can fix it for the next time you stream. Well, or you, you can reload. You, you, you. you can just save the information so I can look at it later or just yeah. deal with it. I know what they are. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Dynamic. Okay, I think all those settings saved. Alrighty, what is this? Texture replacer has an icon. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Dead reentry has an icon everywhere. Uh, I'm on normal settings. Damp heat shield to max. Ten. I guess that's what needs to be. In real shoots, that's there. All right. So, what are we gonna do? Um, first thing I want to do is load up the Hercules craft for my other save, the one that's made for stock, and try to fly it. Um, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Yes, exactly. Let's go I'm sorry. I just I can't help it. Ships. Yeah. B A B. All righty. Oh, look at the sky. Oh, there's a big blur there. Don't look at the blur. But look at the sky, except for the blur. It looks so blue and pretty. I, I spent a lot of work. Happen. I spent a lot of work at trying to get the sky to look right. Um, it could use a little work because every oh, twice a day nicer. there is a big blob in the sky. You know, it is. I don't know. It is. Uh, it is Kerbal. I don't know what that is. It's it's the. Uh, the Kerbal Angel is coming to to uh, to save Kerbal Kind from Jebediah's Wrath or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and load up the VAB. What version of EV am I using? If Midanthrope is here, he might be able to tell you because he just gave me the config that he was using. I don't know what it is, honestly. It is EV that he tuned for 6.4, I guess. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm a bad person. I don't know. All right. Let's go and load up Hercules. You're a very bad person. The blob is a nuclear fine. explosion from everything in your last save. Come back together. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, we're going to go and fly the Hercules immediately. This is going to be a simulation. You know, we're not going to kill any Kerbals immediately. And I'm starting to think that um, I'm going to start just not even asking people if they want to go on um Kerbal flights i'm just gonna I'm told, go. dude. Yeah, it's the, just I'm, it's the way to go man yeah, it, just, it just takes look, you it just, are going to space yeah just because people people get really weird about it and it's like it's fine it's just a digital representation of yourself going to space what could possibly go wrong what could it's possibly fine. go wrong also Kerbal construction time is not letting me drag windows all of a sudden and also i'm getting all sorts of things that are popping up ah yeah uh, let's go ahead and set that wow. to zero simulate here we go. <clears throat> That's interesting. Yeah. Is it actually working, do you think? I don't know. I guess you'll find out. We will see if this thing works. Simulation length of zero, 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 zero. Oh, many zeros. Let's go ahead and close that. This is just a simulation, so the kerbals we put in this thing don't matter. Um. They will just do what they do. Anyway, preparing for liftoff in five, four, three, two, one. Clickety 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 clack, and liftoff of the Hercules lift system. Beginning roll program. It's flying. Nice. Oh, you've got far now, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I have far. Yes, I have far. 
Nice, dude. That is awesome. And it flies. That's awesome. It'll be interesting to see how it flies on the way down again. That's yeah, that's be... actually part of what I'm really gonna, trying to find out what's going to happen if yeah. I try to re-enter yeah. this thing. <laughs> Just keep in mind, this is just a simulation. The clock is pretty close to accurate, too. Lag is not bad, dude. That's about half speed right now, I'd say. I mean, even, um, even uh, with the, the new supercomputer, um, when you have a whole bunch of mods, this, this definitely runs way better in stock. In oh, stock. stock is fast. Yeah, stock yeah. is fast as heck, but I mean... The it's un, it's not to it, it's if you think about it you've got a crap load of mods installed and you've got what probably four hundred and something parts there yeah four hundred and fifty parts yeah so for it to run near real time you look at when EJ launches his shuttle yeah from a lag perspective yeah. and that's just because of the huge amount of wing clipping and stuff that's going on whenever that happens I've noticed that as soon as you Clipping stuff as well, the lag increases because it's obviously the game is trying to figure where things are. It's, but it flies. Also, it's cool. I Good. just realized I, I should be, I should have already done my orbital pitch maneuver like a long time ago. Um, that's okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I usually like to have it start start doing that at like 150 meters a second. But I've yeah. got a lot of control authority on this thing, so that's that's good. And as long as you do turns you'll be fine because as long because it's you you are as i would say as far as as far as far as concerned with all those nose cones and stuff be able to point more or less in the direction that you want and you have a lot of authority on the front there so you should be good um Let's see how far this, this 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 is not making it into orbit it was this is was not designed to make it into orbit with um with this setup, but we're just gonna see how how well it goes. There's some slightly weird lighting with your. I think it's because you're just on the downhill. Your kerbals are all very dark. Yeah, yeah. Also, I posted in Skype for you the fix to stop all, right. all your bits from being fuzzy wuzzy. Thanks. As a caterpillar. Appreciate that. Not a problem. Yeah, it's, it's one config file. You just change a couple of lines in there, and basically you're just turning off. You basically disable the M for that, that toolbar, because the little, um, the, the textures for that are inside the toolbar. I think all the little icons, so. And Twitch has told me, finally, that you are now streaming. <laughs> nice. Very nice. It, it took two minutes yesterday for me to yeah, two minutes for me yesterday to actually get, once I started streaming, for it to actually notify people that I was streaming. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Uh, this thing is just about to start pitching over. So we're going to go ahead and turn off these tank, these engines here. Okay, looks like we're stable again. It's a really interesting experience. How much fuel do we have? We have all loads of fuel. Hmm, interesting. How much Delta V is this got? Oh, maybe five. Five K. Yeah, you're borderline making it on that. Because you remember that, yeah, because you're going to be fairly, fairly light once you get rid of those boosters. Yeah. Hey, WV Hokey, how's you, it going? You aren't going to make, you won't make it all the way. No. Get very close, I think. Hey, Quetzi! How's it going? Quetzi! Is this going to empty out anytime soon, please? Uh, Jeez. So. Well, the, the booster tanks, they're, they're still going. <laughs> <laughs> well... I don't know. Don't, I don't know. That seems... Have you got tech fuel balancer? Here you have. Mm, yeah, but I'm not using it. Okay. There they go. Yeah. Just took a while. Also, I see boosters with hundreds of. You reduce your power count if you went to 
pick a tanks, but I'm surprised it makes it. Yeah. Quite yeah, I just I just pulled what I had from the stock install and just just loaded it up instantly and just to see what happens. So. Alrighty. Booster flame out. Got a nice clean swirly do separation there. Yeah, that that uh, that swirl that. <laughs> like, I always feel like there should be waltz music playing when. Uh, well, there is waltz. Yeah, there is there, is, yeah, there is there is the waltz music playing right now. The the one that you're probably thinking of. Is yeah, actually playing no, right I'm just now. unmuted for a second. I looked at <laughs> it. And went, I recognize that. Final. Perfect. Nicely done. So yes, 6.4x, it is a real solar system configuration that keeps the stock planets rather than replacing them with Earth, Moon, so on. Um, but it scales it by a factor of 6.4. So that doesn't mean it's necessarily four times bigger, it's that that is the ratio that it uses for scaling. So the planet will be three or four times bigger and it is stock like that. Alrighty, so it looks like we have a stable ascent here, but we're not, we're definitely not yeah. making it into orbit. We're gonna get close, no. but no cigar. Yeah, the skybox you dislike. I like the skybox, it's pretty. Which skybox have you got? It's, oh, is it the... It's like the mixed the one, one. From, from, um, yeah. It looks nice. I like mine still, though. Yes, so that's the stock and something else, isn't it? Just kind of, kind of blend it together. No, it's somebody's and somebody else's. Okay. Because it looks like it's... Um... Yeah, Hammer Tech and something else, maybe. I don't know. No, it's, it's not, not Hammer Tech. It's like rare it's, It looks like it's Astronomers and something. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. It's quite... There's quite a lot going on. I sort of because there's a bit of activity in one corner and then it... But it is, it does look very pretty. And the moon looks nice sitting up against the nebula cloud. It's pretty, pretty nice. My thing is, if I were playing full RSS and playing like realism stuff, yeah, I wouldn't have this. But Kerbal Space Program is a bit not of a real. fantasy. So it's yeah, like, it's yeah. not really real. When people say, oh, I must play this 100% real, and blah, blah, I'm like, you understand that this is a game and physics are a bit rockets don't quite work the way it's supposed to be so, right? Thanks for the follows, <laughs> Eagle and Yido. Welcome to the quest, peeps. Do appreciate the support. What would it take to be able to send your Hercules to Duna? I have no idea. Miracle. That is... That is quite the interesting follow animation, Jimmy. I quite like it. I like the spinning planet. That's very nice. Well, I've been wanting that spinning animation for quite a while. It's just never got to it. Eh. It's very nice. It, it works. It works really well. And is it a different follow sound now, too? Uh, and I'm broadcasting the same. Okay. It does look very nice. Yeah, the follow notification tool I have is pretty basic. I'm. Um, problem is, it has hosting and donations as well, which is quite nice. Yep. But there's one thing about this website. Um, like, they have their times wrong, or I can't change the time, so it says that I'm going to be receiving these follows in seven hours. <laughs> This person has followed in seven hours. Wait, what? Yeah, that sounds a bit weird. It sounds like it's got your time zone wrong or something. Yeah, I don't know what. So, how are we doing here? We've got another... Still a little while for this thing to burn. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to make it orbital. <laughs> and no. Actually, you're going to have an interesting time trying to land because yeah. you might be over the ocean. I 
thanks for the follow, Sahid RG. Welcome to the quest. And Mikhail the King. And I noticed my voice is a bit loud, so I've adjusted the volume some more. So we're currently cruising at 161 kilometers above the surface at a velocity of 3,700 meters a second. I'm gonna bring this back up here. Um, yeah, we're probably not even gonna get close. What I'm gonna do, though, is after we separate the E-tank, we're gonna see if we can use the auxiliary fuel to push ourselves into orbit. Yeah. Because so you've got extra fuel here, dude. Oh, and, I, oh, and it's already empty. Well, that might explain yeah. the weird Yeah, I think destroying from those tanks, because I think you normally disabled them. Yeah. Dear, dear squad, action groups for tanks, on, off. Yeah. Just please add it. It's You've already got a whole bunch of stuff. Just right click, disable. You know, so you can have it, so you can turn them on and off again. Action groups. Going up. Yeah, so you're about 300 meters a second or something. Don't do that at all. Yeah, and I have yeah. to like make it to 6,000. Yep. No, yeah. This is not happening. <laughs> if you're lucky, you're you will have travelled enough that you'll you will potentially be over land again when you come back down. But I'm trying to work out where you are relative to the rest of the ocean. I think. Yeah, I think you're gonna fall short. So it's gonna make landing a little complicated. Yep. Definitely but is. at least you'll see how deadly reentry and far react to a degree. Landing in quotation marks. Yeah. Although those are the stock wings, aren't they? Yeah. So they I haven't have... changed it at all. Just looking at that, you might. Oh, you've got. Wait, you've got. Oh, of course, because it doesn't count it if you disable. Wait. I thought Kerbal. Oh no, of course, Kerbal Engineer doesn't show it if you've got them disabled. You got 400 and. Ooh. Yeah, because that's the orbital. Yeah. Hey, you... Casper! How's it going, Casper? Hey, Casper. Um. Atmosphere goes up to, is it 92 kilometers or something? Yeah, about 91, 92, somewhere about there. Broadcasting. Thanks for following Ojojo. Yes, yeah, so you gotta find another what, thousand meters a second or something, don't you? Which I'm nosy. Yeah, I do that follow animation dude, that's very nice. Do need to make it a little bit louder though. I thought it was too loud for when I was testing it out, but. Although, it's probably better in some ways to be quiet, because if you get a massive follower chain, yeah. it's not going to be so bad. It's nice though, I like it. And yes, I might have to, uh, might have to investigate over, yes. We're definitely going down. The question is... How is this going to react on the way down? Yeah. Yes, exactly. What's going to burn up? What are, yeah, basically we're going to see how this works. Also, people are saying, or somebody said, <sighs> get Thunderbird 1 to work with FAR. It does work with FAR. I just, I built it in FAR. So, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why it tends to fall out of the sky when there's no forward momentum. Alrighty, yeah. so, um, we got, we've completely <laughs> emptied all of our tanks. Yeah, I, I don't think you'd need that much more fuel in those boosters, Shimmy. You might be able to get away with just increasing the size of the center stack a little bit, I'm wondering. Like that center, big center fuel tank? Mm -hmm. You might better just increase that a little bit just to get that extra delta Vs for the orbits. No, because fire will give you drag. 
and you'll be able to you'll be able to lift the nose up potentially and gain mm. lift on the way down. The wings will have a lot more drag than the command module. Like they have a huge amount of drag. So you might the the one you might struggle with isn't so much overheating as potentially just a high G. Because it's going to sl it's going to hit the atmosphere and slow down rapidly because of the wings. Yeah, we're definitely. It's gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out. Yeah. I have to say, I am looking forward to seeing what happens. You've just released a temporary payload that's going to be orbit. Yeah. Nice. I just don't want it with me. So. No, what's well, extra weight? Yep. And it's probably gonna screw up your balance as well on the way down. Alrighty, we should be hitting atmospheric interface here in a in a minute or so. Um, let's go ahead and keep our nose up at about twenty degrees angle of attack. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think what you could, how high up you can be before. Although far will probably drag the nose down. Yeah. A little bit. The thing will be where the far decides that you should be going in reverse. As long as it keeps the nose, as long as you can keep the nose forward, if you've got enough control there to keep the nose forward, I think you'll be okay. Broadcasting. Thanks for the follows, me Jan, me Jan, but also thank you for following Varg. Broadcasting. Unfollowed. And Sir Beef Tips. <laughs> Sir Beef Tips? Sir Beef wow. Tips. Those names, dude. You're people. Yeah. You're weird. I've got weird people. Wonderful, wonderful people, but they're weird people. Alrighty, so we're gonna hit atmospheric interface here in a moment. Let's go ahead and zoom out here and take a look at Yeah, if we're lucky we can make it to land, but that's if we're lucky. I don't well, think we're you have be to lucky. remember, you've—I don't know—you've got your nose up, so that's going to give you. It's going to increase your drag, but it is also going to keep. It's actually potentially going to extend your path. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, look, it seems to it. Re oh, yeah. But once you hit atmosphere, you might better just glide. Because it remember that trajectory mod is all well, that mod is telling you based on a cap. Not on a winged vehicle. Broadcasting. So that's one of the reasons why I don't use it anymore. It's not reliable. It makes assumptions about what you're doing. Also, in RSS, it's really inaccurate. Yeah, we're already in the atmosphere here. This is probably yeah. going to burn up. Honestly, I think it's going to burn up. That's what I don't know. Look at the rate of speed. Look at the speed. You're, you're accelerating, I think, at the moment, aren't you? Just losing speeds. Yeah, I'm still accelerating. Accelerating. Because you will start to slow down quite dramatically, though. The problem is, is that the cockpit does not have uh, heat shielding on it by default. Yeah. And those really cool procedural wings don't have it they either. It, yeah, they don't have them yet either. That's exactly it. Oh no, it, it, it's going to flip out. It's just going to flip out. Bring the nose down, dude. I can't. What? I can't. Oh, you can't. I can't. Yeah. Because that's what I was worried about, is the fact that you got the nose up. You might have to keep the nose. Did you... Works. Oh, it's a test anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a test. It's gonna flip out. Yeah, because you'd need to keep the nose pointing into the angle of attack. Otherwise, because yeah, this is the drag. This is what I was mentioning is the drag is gonna be quite high because you're actually starting to slow down here. I think. You can keep the nose pointing. Don't worry, this yeah. is just a test. We are just testing. Hey, yeah. Oh, burning! Burning. Burning. Uh oh. Burning. What did uh -oh. we lose? What did we lose? Oh god! Oh no! Structural disassembly, I'm assuming. Yeah, we're at over 10 G's. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, is to drag. Oh, explosions. Yeah, it's gonna be the problem. Oh wow. Welcome to Deadly Reentry. Oh, did you turn off dynamic disassembly and fire? Yeah, that was, that was Deadly Reentry doing all that. Okay, so you've definitely turned off aerodynamic disassembly and fire, right? Yes. Cool. Just checking. Yeah, that's that. That is fire in a nutshell. <laughs> Reaching crew G limit, going down. They are not long for the world. Hey, well, it's the at least. Hey, wait. The crew the survived re-entry, right? It's yeah. the survived re-entry. The landing is going to be another problem. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with the landing. I don't know, maybe you could use the, the nose ah. cone as a crumple zone? <laughs> a crumple zone! I think the whole thing is going to be a crumple zone, to be honest.
Yeah, survived the fire for a crash. Also, thanks for the follows, guys. Do you appreciate that? Bula, Bulue, and Fatal Reaping, the Stone Guy, Woodlake. Do you appreciate the follows. Welcome to the quest. And before it bounces in the ocean. Yeah. yeah. This is ocean. This is certain death for them. Yeah, this is sing this is now single step ocean. Also oh wait. Switch to surface there. Not optimal. But you do have the crumple zone up the front, so you might be able to use the nose cone to absorb some of the K G L A L G No, they're not. They're they're off by ten ten seconds of of ISP. It used to be like that in the past, but they're not. Also the mainsails are way higher thrust to weight, and the way that the vessel was designed, I needed the higher thrust to weight. Well, just launched somebody. Oh, shoot, Shoebex. Just launched Thunderbird 1. Save them. <laughs> Calling International Rescue. An entire 10 seconds of ISP, I know, right? It's, it's like 350 versus 360. Or it's 360 versus 370. You know, it's. I like how you're going to try and save the nose cone by sacrificing the commander. Well, it's either cone. one way or the other. One way, this, the way I'm doing it here, I'm trying to reduce the amount of, I'm like trying to, yeah. trying to create the amount of, like, an drag. amount of drag here. Yeah, you're trying to increase the drag. If I, if yeah. I put it forward, then they go faster. Oh, uh, I'm trying to work out, it's, I don't think they got a lift, it's not a lifting body, is it? I'm no, sure. I don't know. It might be. At 45 degrees or something, it might actually generate lift, but I doubt it. Broadcasting. Thanks for the follow, Alpha Male Six Pac Man. Welcome to Quest. Yeah, it looks like it's just a straight drag model for this one. Because I was really hoping that the the Mark III parts would have a lifting body, because that would solve a lot of problems with wings. I really wish they just had it had lifting body properties, because that's the thing with the shuttle. Um, part of the shuttle was a lifting body. Uh, did Coffee give out the craft file for Thunderbird 1? No, I did not. What? Exa, keep up! Uh, Alright, nose down! Nope, not even close. <laughs> no, you're doing like 70 meters a second. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so now we know about that. We'll, we'll go and try and fly it, fly it around a little bit, see how it does just taking off if even if that's possible i don't even know if that's possible but yeah um yeah because you're going to want to see if you've got enough lift yeah um so if you if you just chuck it on the thing and just use your your um, ims push it around a bit and see how it goes there we go i'm actually pondering potentially rather than having Engine, uh, going more for a Buran style for mine, rather than uh, the actual shuttle. Because I think in far, Buran might work a bit better, because you don't have those big heavy engines on the back anymore, so it might behave itself, so I won't want to flip around to the same degree. Well, that's the other option, Jimmy. You could actually have decouplers on the engines and jettison them on the way in from being a problem. Which uh, fuel mining mod? I prefer carbonite. Caffeine was still carbonite still looks, really good though. Uh, carbonite looks pretty cool. It looks a little less ketane. Ketane kind of seems a bit weird to me. Carbonite has a bunch of stuff to it though. I, I, yeah. I, I, it's gotten to the point where like you don't need to add anything more. Yeah, you can just just leave it the way it is. Alrighty. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't take off like that. Uh, going for the vertical takeoff, huh? <laughs> no, going for the sideways takeoff. Yeah, takeoff right, sideways. Let's go ahead and grab it. Stand on the yaw pedal, my friend. All right. Sorry. Which rem I need to set up my flight control and everything, and and rudder pedals for KSP. I need to get get around to doing that because then I can actually fly fly a shuttle. Because I reckon if I did that, 
I might better actually manually fly the thing in because I suspect with far letting the computer fly might not be optimal. Although it's tempting when you do next time you deal, but if you try pointing it retro and letting it seeing if SAs can keep up with the the problem is my trajectory was digging too, too yeah. deep into the atmosphere. That was yeah. that was really a, a very real test. So yeah, for deadly reentry for something like this, you want a very shallow. So you're basically just starting to hit the atmosphere, so that it basically creates a degrading orbit. So if you set it up so basically it's a degrading orbit, so you basically end up spending you're traveling about two thirds of the way around the planet before you actually deorbit. Okay, let's uh, do another simulation here. My plan uh, is does it... 6.4 scale, yes. The other thing that you've got at the moment, Shimon, is you've got stacked wings, which means Spar will be ignoring one level of wings, yep. potentially. Exactly. So, so I... long... no, there's nothing wrong with my wheels. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how this thing takes off. We're just running simulations here, just curious on how this thing works. I built this thing for stock, aerodynamics, and and scale and all that, but I'm curious to see how how it works. What are we in? Air breathing? Okay, I don't even know if this thing will take off. I don't know. Yeah, because I this is this is why I'm, I might go Buran because it's going to reduce the weight because I'm not going to have those giant engines on the back. Because Buran has basically OMS only. Granted, Buran's basically a straight theft of the shuttle design, right down to the wing size. <laughs> hey, sleepy hipster not space travel. thing take off. Whoa! Uh, good flip. Uh... Yeah, that wasn't really a takeoff. That was... <laughs> hmm. Hmm, let's go ahead and turn on the brakes. We didn't need that part of the shuttle anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, because you see, you had to rotate and not have enough lift. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. <laughs> Where are we going? We don't. Or a rear fuselage or a tail. Or a vertical stabilizer. Alright, this time we're going to take it off gradually. See if this thing will do yeah. its thing. I have a feeling it's just. You're going to have to wait. I, I reckon just roll the entire. See if you can just get it to lift off at the end of the runway. I yeah. think you're better off because you've got you've got enough reaction wheels that you can just pull a wheelie on this thing. You probably just need a crap load of speed to actually get it to lift. So you might have to basically just be nosing up gently just as you hit the end of the runway and see if you can get it to. Well, Zephyr, it's all about getting the thrust the, the thrust vector to always be pointing through the center of mass. If you don't have that, yeah. they're going to flip. There's not really anything you can do about that. All right, let's go ahead. V1. Oh, see, it's already... As soon as it just really wants to flip up. It was yeah. airborne. It was airborne. It's airborne again. It flew. Technically, it flew for like one second. Yeah, it's probably very short because you. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm watching now. You're doing 84 meters a second. I would say the wings are actually creating drag more than it at this point. <laughs> Blue, you're right. Oh, those engine nacelles. That's hilarious. All right, I put wings there. Let's go ahead and rip some wing off, wings off. See, well. Have if they got, if okay. they really don't help, then I don't think removing them is going to... I don't know. Let's, well, let's it's gonna dive make, into... It's going to actually improve it, because I think right now you're not getting the correct lift from the wings in the first place. Why is it uh, flipping up so crazily like that? That's the thing. Because of the drag, I suspect. That would tell me that there's way too much drag at the front than, than at the back. How do I read this far editor analysis? Yeah, it's kind of complicated. I, I'm still trying to understand it. Thanks for following Chiller. Welcome to the quest. Basically, all I know is the more numbers you can get green, the better. Basically. And 
for the shuttle, ironically, we don't really have to care about mark quite so much because you're going to be doing, you're only going to be doing high mark at very high altitude. You're going down quite a bit as soon as you smack at the atmosphere because of drag. So, but if you look at the yeah I, data ability I, stuff, I don't, I've never, I don't even, I don't know how to use this stuff. Yeah. So if you go to the, there's a button that says data and stability derivatives or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. And it gives you. A numbers okay these numbers they mean that, nothing then, they mean yep, nothing so if you go back to data and stability again i'll just wait for you to do that yeah um and there's a button you can press that will actually recalculate calculate stability so derivatives. yeah calculate stability derivatives, and that will tell you what it's looking like so if the numbers are all yellow if they're all red that's very bad so if you calculate and see what it comes up with if you start seeing green numbers it's good so I got some bad downed vel. Yeah. So I don't. What does this mean? It means nothing. It means nothing. It's a lot of numbers. All I, the more of those you can get green, the better. I don't really understand what half of those numbers mean. It's all technical mumbo jumbo that means absolutely nothing to me. But I suspect you probably don't have. I I would try removing a couple of the upper wing surfaces and see if the numbers change in a good way. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to watch. You can, this, this is one yeah. of those videos I'm gonna have to watch Scott Manley to to figure it out. Yeah. This is like the, you can I, hover over them. You can hover over the numbers for it to tell you. But it's not something mean. gonna be. I don't really. Un, I don't really understand it either. Whoa! What am I doing there? Um. Yeah, I was just gonna say this is something I I won't be able to learn just overnight while just playing no. on stream. No. Probably won't be I able need to, to do that. No, I need to. I need to go watch. Either Scott or someone else talking about far, I think. Yeah. Oh yes, the shaky camera because of the of the <laughs> zoom out does that. Uh, the mission is wrong. <laughs> I'm not playing not playing speedrunners right now. Mm. Let's go and try this one more time. I, I removed some some cheaty wings in the front. Show center of lift versus center of gravity. That doesn't even... Since I have far, I don't think that actually matters. Yeah, Maybe. it does a little bit. Oh, it does? I thought it just, like... It was just kind of a placeholder thing. No, 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 no. It still... It still has... Because it's telling you where your center of mass... And you want to get that one up front. Um, far just complicates, but... Yeah, I am. I am sorely tempted to maybe build Buran rather than rather than uh, an orbiter. Yep, IPR's right. We're really not doing anything just yet. I'm just kind of messing around right now, just just to see how this would work with Far. You know, this was this was a, a challenge. People were saying, "Oh, you should try this this vehicle with Far." I'm trying it with Far. Just just see how it works. Most yeah. likely, it's just gonna fail horribly. All right, let's go ahead and. You know yeah, what? I'm not those... even going to pitch up. I'm just going to let this thing fall off yeah. the end of the runway. Let... And, see and then just gently nose up at, at that point. Yeah. Just give it a gentle nose up. But yeah, leave the runway because I found that, you know, it's because that way you won't have the... Nope, it's... Whoa! Whoa, what is going on? Now I'm going up. Am I going up? Am I going down? Oh! It's the silence that's confusing. <laughs> hmm. It... Was sort it sort of? Oh, <laughs> I reckon. I did you remove some wings at the? Fr oh, the cheaty wings up in there. Yeah, yeah, the ones inside the cockpit is the ones I. Yeah, remove. you're just short on lift, I think. The problem is it's complicated getting more lift. But anyway, you could potentially get it is to use those procedural wings. But what we have done is made a very convenient vehicle for traveling to the beach. So now we're gonna have Jebediah, nice. Bill, and Bob. And they're gonna go ahead and build a sand castle. Um, have Beautiful. a little fun in the sun. Um, Kerbal yeah. Sand Castle Program. KSP. Yep, Job. here you go. Broadcasting. Uh, sleepy hipster space travel. Apart from testing shuttles, absolutely nothing because yeah, this not is a yet. new save. We are just having a as, fun as, here. as the topic of the stream. It's a 
you, you need some Beach Boys music playing at this <laughs> moment, I feel. Ma, 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 Nice parking. Sorry. All right. Let's do some space. Let's do some space. Um, this is gonna this is gonna take a little while to to get used to. Um, you know, one thing we have to be very careful about is when we do um, manned missions or curbled missions, crewed missions. Uh, we need to make sure we do our testing because when people die and that is not a simulation, they're not coming back. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and revert to the space plane hangar. We had a little fun. Um, messing around with the shuttle. We might come back to that and see if we can get this thing to fly a little bit better. The uh, thing is, is those procedural wings that B9 made, as soon as they have um, heat shielding on them, and as soon as deadly entry updates to have the Mark III parts with heat shielding on them, yes. building a shuttle like this would be something I really want to try. So yeah. All right. I'm still going to try, but I'm going to fail miserably. I might Cheaty McCheat and Bill Buran instead, because that is designed a little differently. But I don't blame you, because it's going to be hard to get the lift that you need, and yep. also deadly reentry and wings and stuff and things. I don't know why they removed the heat shields, because I know that um, the the parts that um, were done, like Space Man Plus, the original, they had heat shields on them. Yep. So. Very frustrating they got removed. Yeah. I know people I, I know they removed it so that people could put stuff upside down, blah blah blah. But yeah, well I mean shields, it's just man. a heat shields. It's it's a visual thing. Yeah, but it's also a nuisance because there's no heat shields now, which means if you want to re enter and you have do the re entry, you kinda can't. So it renders the whole parts unusable, kind of. Oh okay. look at that. Let's look at it. The um Got the, the heat shield designed for the Mark II pod installed. It looks the way it should look. Looks beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do is... Oh, you changed the... the oh, hang on. Is no, that... the, this no, is... You've got yeah, this is the, the old stock stuff. One. Yeah, I'm not using yeah. Vens because Vens... Uh, oh, that's right. Ven renamed a part yeah. just to make your life misery and but, everybody else. But also, um, Mainsail does not have a gimbal on it now. Just so you know. I know. How how awesomely that, bad is that? That is not stock to me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with it, honestly. Um so we're just gonna build a little um crew vehicle here. I think we're gonna immediately just go to building a vessel that is capable of doing orbital operations in in orbit. Orbital operations orbit, uh for redundancy of the redundant. Um let's see here. Uh, I'd like to have, like, a little area that, like, has all of our life support stuff, but we might not be able to do that. Uh, let's, let's do something. Let's just go into, what's it, tech life support? Food? Oh, I really wish I had part catalog, because everything is so, such a cluster right now. Um, life support container. We're gonna need some batteries. Put a docking port on this too. Uh, the batteries. Oh, let's not forget the solar panels. Now we want the the nicer looking ones. Where are our batteries? They forever away. Where did they go? There they go. Um, we're gonna want some monopropellant tanks here. And what else am I forgetting? Oh, probe core. We want a probe core. Keep things simple. Put a probe core there. Let's go ahead and put batteries. Like so. And I need to put these somewhere. Thanks for the follow, Supas 1996. And also Ice Badger, Lars Boom. Somebody <laughs> with, a ra with a rather obscene name, Eschuff, Terror Shark, Chiller, I think I got those other peeps. Do appreciate the follows, welcome to the quest. Alright, I don't like this tank. 
I think I'm gonna go for a procedural liquid tank immediately. Yep, do it. Procedural, go, go, go. And for the engine... Let's go ahead and put a poodle on it. Uh, engines are in the engine section. Also, just a reminder, I do not have KW or Nova Punch installed anymore, so I'm using all stock engines, too. Uh, and well, there's carbonite stuff in here, too, but uh, most likely I won't be using most of that for a while. Alrighty, so 1500 Delta V, that's more than plenty. Let's go ahead and give this some sort of cool looking texture here. Part of Kerbal Space Program is making things look cool. Yeah. I'm I'm all for making things look cool. I believe there was I like that Atlas texture that you were using. Yeah, the, the silver one is really nice. You've got more textures. Yes, I sir. yeah, I have a lot of textures installed. Okay, you need to send me the link to stuff <laughs> and things where I find these extra textures. Well, my, I'm gonna need them. Take a look at my mod list. Um might, might. Send me somewhere? Yeah, I, I got some of that information posted there. Look, looking, 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 looking. Procedural fairings with extra black heart and shimmy. Broadcasting for the procedural textures. Procedural parts: black heart, freedom, KW, Nova, and shimmy. Oh, of course, because of the um, the plaid. He's got a black. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, I do have like a, a texture that I made myself, but really it's just kind of a, a slightly altered one that Blackheart did. Um, okay. So Seth yeah. And Nova. Oh, Blackheart. Yes. So I'm gonna use some procedural fairing voodoo here. One of my favorite things to do. While so, you're doing that, I'm going to go and grab these extra textures. Textures. Textures must have all the textures. Also, those are fairings. I want... I'm so sad I couldn't get curb paint to work, dude. Yeah, I had problems with it too the last time I tried it. It was a while ago. It's really frustrating. So sad making. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sad making. Wait a second. Oh, this is so Why? convenient now because I can... I can attach right. these immediately in, and I don't have to unclick them. I can just slide them. Just slide. Alrighty, awesome. Let's go ahead and click on this. Let's go ahead and click on the top. No, height. Oh, but it doesn't do this thing anymore. <laughs> That's a bummer. Uh, I got it. I got a way of making this thing to copy down here, but doesn't look like that's a thing it does anymore. Oh, oh well. Alright, now we can just go ahead and click on... Wait a second! I made a big deal about this. We've got offset anyway. It doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh. I don't even need these stupid fairings anymore. I oh, The only reason why I have these ones that look like KW installed is so I could do this trick. Yep. I can use... I can use... The thing, uh, the, I can use the gizmos to do what I want to do. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so, I'm what? just so excited right now. I just can't, I just can't hide it. All right. Yeah. Um, Squared specs. I found working curb paint, but it does work the engines, and it doesn't paint a lot of textures still. So. Oh, these are the yes, yes. You can just mo yes, Jimmy. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I approve. Very nice, because that's a fi finally a decent use for those things. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> so you can have yeah. Some, yeah. I like that. Oh, dude. How good is that? Good. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I kind of messed something up though. So we're gonna we we need to relearn how how we're gonna do some building here. Um, Andrew, Andrew. But yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this and go ahead and bring the the old parts back. Um, interstage fairing adapter and the structural. Alrighty, let's 
bring these. A few nodes. Bring these out. Uh, please, fewer nodes. There we go. Just wasn't registering my click for some reason. Did he click? Go ahead and put that node there. Now there's a th there's a, a method that I could like change the way that these were connected or, or sized just by messing around with one and kind of copy over to the other one, but no, it doesn't do that anymore. That's a bummer. Okay, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Let's go ahead and bring this one tick in, and let's go ahead and bring this down to half a meter also did I do that <laughs> do we need to send a clean up to over the coffee spot it depends on whether I can get these extra textures working or not just to get those in there alrighty I'm gonna go ahead and click on these offsets Bring these like that. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't like it's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> nice. I'm, am I the Bob Ross of uh, of rockets? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes. And then you can adjust the tank below, and it's all glorious. All right, we are just, nice. we're just going to go ahead and change the size of these just so they're slightly smaller than the than the external radius, um, just to make things a little bit so it, it, a little bit texturized, but so these don't things don't pop through. Um, this is a little bit too rough for me. Uh, you know what we could do is kind of make it taper in a little bit. So actually, the bottom we could go ahead and bring that, and then the top is you know what let's go ahead and bring this to 25 right there and let's go ahead and reconnect this here connect it right there to worry about that clip through that's gonna be an issue honestly we're already getting to a, a good a good shape here but that was a little bit too a little bit too much so we'll go ahead and bring this bring the base down again bring it down to about oh I like what you're doing there just trying to get that curve right just getting it as, as close as possible yeah. to what we want um, Oh, you could, yeah. I don't. I guess tapering the top end would look a bit soft. The tank. Think we got something. I think we got something. Look at that. This will be the new version of the Sirius MPV, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm going to use the same naming nomenclature as the last version. Because I'm still... I'm still not over that last save. Yeah. I can, I can understand. Okay, so yeah. Move it a little bit there. So what else we got to do? We have to attach some thrusters, thruster blocks. Uh, I think we can do that.
like so. Ah, oh, the gizmos are going to make building some of this stuff so easy. Yes, yes they are. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing. Oh yeah. My body wasn't ready. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and... I started realizing as I was building Thunderbird 1, I went, I can do all of the stuff that I've never been able to do now. This is so cool. Because that's where I've really started to use the gizmos, building that stuff, because it's so weird. Vessel mass. Do we have the translation? I thought we had the option for average center of mass. Depleted center of mass, center of mass. There's, isn't there an average center of mass here? Markers, resources, monitor propellant. Oh, that's splendid. Interesting. Markers. There we go, average center of mass, there we go. I had to turn it on. So we can move those down, because I just need to be able to see them. And we'll use the average center of mass, there we go. Looking good. Let's go ahead and bring these in. Okay, that's the RCS build aid. Looks like that part is done. Let's go ahead and add some solar panels to this guy. And uh, I think we have a spaceship. <clears throat> nice. Oh, serious. <laughs> Hello, Astronomad. How's it going? That metallic. That metallic looks so good, though. Yeah. So this is going to be the new Sirius MPV. It's got 1,400 meters a second delta V. We could always just change it um, because we do have a uh, procedural tank on the bottom, so if we need to go ahead and adjust it in, in the future. But now yeah, we have... Yeah, it taller and shorter and stuff. That's yep. awesome. Now we just need to go ahead and build a rocket that will go underneath this thing. Okay, what are these? Heat shields? Coupler. All right. Um, oh yeah, we need to add antenna thingers on this thing. Can't forget, we got remote tech stuff we need to worry about. Let's give it a reflectotron. Um, reflectotron? Yeah. Oh, antenna. Yeah. Right. right. Yes. The really... remotes control and stuff. And yeah, because I'm a, remo a remote tech user. Filthy remote tech user. <laughs> Filthy remote tech user. How dare you? Uh... How dare you? Let's go ahead and put one there. Oh, hey. What are you doing? You put it on the bottom, I guess. Inset that in so it's nice and close to the uh, to the fuselage there. Sneaky snakes. Yep. We're gonna need the other antennas too. Um, let's give it the comms and <clears throat> let's I, just go I, ahead and oh, wait. Did I update my remote tech stuff? I hope, hopefully I did. <laughs> You'll find out in a moment. But how good are those gizmos, dude? Yeah, I did update it. I'm pretty sure I updated it. That cool. should be 500. That's three. Okay, yeah. So what is this? This is kind of low mass. What is this? Kind of a higher mass, but nothing that we really need to worry about. Let's go ahead and stick it on this side. Let's go ahead and inset that in a little bit. So it looks like it's supposed to be there. And now we'll go ahead and attach our medium range antennas on each side. I 
I think we have a vehicle. It's looking pretty good, dude. It's shiny, which is good. Yes, it's nice and shiny. Two reflectors. I was going to say, I wonder, wonder whether there's a more, whether there's a softer. Um, I don't think there's a different color, though, is there, that would match the other materials? Yeah. Probably. I, I really means... wish. Um, I wish. Upon a star? I wish upon a star. No, I wish the. Uh, Procedural fairings had a texture switcher like procedural parts. Yeah, that'd be nice. E Dog has said that that was something that was going to be added in the past, but just hasn't hasn't gotten around to it in a long time. So it is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and build a rock underneath this thing. Should be rather straightforward. Um, go ahead and add this stuff here. All right, so. I kind of either divide this up into three stages or two stages. Um, two stages to begin with makes it easier to make a three-stage vehicle upgrade. So that's what I'm mm. thinking about doing. What is the Delta V requirement? It's around. It's about 7.5. It's been a while. Well, if I would go for 7.5 plus whatever's in the MPV, because you want the the fuel in the MPV for tooling around and yeah. and. and Going backwards and forwards, so you just need to add seven and a half k to whatever you want to get into orbit. You'll need nearly nine. I think if you can yeah, get it up 7. around point, 9K. seven point five for the uh, yeah for the because if you aim for seven point five because you've got far installed, it'll cost you about seven two or something seven one to get into orbit. Yeah. So that'll give you a little bit left over. So why don't we? Just start by messing around with some numbers here. Um, I'll just use some stock tanks just to start with, just to see what we need to build this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and take this. And... Take this. Yeah, it's not a lot. Also, let's go ahead and name this a Sirius. Sirius. PV. MPV for multi-purpose vehicle. I want this upper We're stage to have like four kilometers a second of delta V, pretty much. Also, thanks for the follows, guys. Do appreciate that. Uh, Sage, I, I, I suppose. Welcome to the quest. Do appreciate the follows and Jactivius. So if we go ahead and take one of these tanks here and put one of those underneath there. Yeah, we're getting close, but it's not enough. Um, what I'll probably do is add a, a couple procedural tanks to the bottom there. But I do like... I might need to upgrade from the skipper to, the, to a mainsail. Well, a skipper and an orange tank will give you nearly four and a half k dv, depending on the weight. Yeah. Broadcasting. So if you wanna, if you, if you, specs. if you wanna an upper stage, an orange tank and a skipper is a good way to go. Broadcasting. Depending on the weight, you've probably got enough weight that an orange tank and a skipper would work pretty good. And John Herser. Broadcasting. And Sarge one zero two two. Welcome to the quest, peeps. All the follows today. Yeah. Nice, dude. Good, Good day for follows. And Bossifers. Bossifers. Welcome to the quest. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and switch to a cone. Like so. And we're just going to go and adjust the length. Yeah, do you have a texture that lines up? That is the question. Ah, uh, probably not. <laughs> Make sure you mind. I do, but it doesn't look right. I do, but it doesn't look look right. I might just yeah. choose a different tank on the bottom. This is why I like KW Rocketry, because it kind of has those shapes yeah. built in. Yeah, this color's not right, is it? What's different? 
Well, you could replace the bottom tank with a stretchy tank, and yep. then all your textures will line up. One thing I like about the stock tanks, the new ones, is they're willy, the, they're willy, they're really well um, textured. Like it, they look like yes. a tank. The like they have Seven. the 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 mesh looks really good. That's just yes. one thing I wish the uh, that was included in. In the um and stretchy tanks. Procedural tanks are pretty good. Yeah. Nice. That works. All of the textures. Yeah, I just... This is, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the JC, the JC one looked pretty good, to be honest. You could go with that, because none of them are going to line up properly. Because the only other way you can do it is to use a procedural tank underneath. But procedural tanks don't look as good. We yeah. could go for the whole. You could go for the whole um, uh, mercury look and just go for the whole stainless steel, bizzo. Because quite a few of the initial Mercury rockets are all just basically they're just all bare metal, pretty much. That's what you need, coffee. A texture that says Thunderbird One all down. I suppose that's true. I need Thunderbird One, Thunderbird Two, and so on. All right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a bigger engine. Gonna need a bigger we're gonna engine use board. a vacuum-rated mainsail. Random tank here to get mad at me. Ah, uh, it's hilarious. It's not vacuum rated, but it's a good engine. The Insail is a darn good engine now. It's efficient too. Yeah, it's ridiculous efficient. Now. It's three sixty. Yeah, it's not even three fifty. It's no. three sixty. Three sixty. It's ISP in space is freaking awesome. It's good. People go, oh, Insail, why are you using that? I'm like, because it's really good in space. It's it's. It's almost great at sea level, but by goodness, once you get into space, that thing is ridiculous. Skipper's definitely got it in space, though, from a thrust, from a weight perspective. So Skipper makes a really good transit engine. So if you're going to even if, like in far, sorry, in RSS six four, if you're wanting to go anywhere, the Skipper is a great engine for that. All right. And Make One B is going to rage about. The main cell and the KR2L being ridiculously overpowered. I don't care. They're good engines. Don't take that from me. <laughs> All right. So I think we're just going to go with something really simple here. We're going to use the GSEA logo as the upper stage. Yep. And uh, we'll just go ahead and choose a different texture for the cone. That uh, might match. Although the, the all white is kind of rocking. It looks pretty good. Just... At just white because it matches the logo from a color perspective but that's just me well it's not exactly the same so that's what bugs me I think I'm gonna use the those stripes there all right so we got an upper stage very very uh, simple upper stage you know what um you know I'm forgetting something like Broadcasting. thanks for following Archer, Archer Carson welcome to the quest um I forgot Broadcasting. Parachutes? Oh yeah, I forgot parachutes. Forgot parachutes. Yeah, forgot. so you got to deal, but and have a good time with yeah. the parachutes. You go, <laughs> and now I will open my parachute. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right. Broadcasting. All right. I like the stripes though. The stripes look good. I need to go and take this off and. Anything? <laughs> take it all off. All right. Broadcasting. Oh, take it all off. We are going to go ahead and add our parachutes. That's something I didn't design yet. Um, Broadcasting. Thanks for the follows, guys. Do you appreciate that? Alrighty. I forgot. Yeah, I did forget. I really did forget. Forgot. Broadcasting. Forgot all the things. So we're going to have these parachutes here.
Those will be the main parachutes, and we'll add the drogue parachutes here in a moment. So, main parachutes go into action groups. I believe this is how this works. Yep, they're... Uh, real shoots are still set up the way they are. Um, so it's going to be a single shoot, main shoot, main. Must go down to deploy, true, deploy on contact, false. Deployment timer, spare shoots, five. Oh, God. Real shoots. No. We don't need, we don't need spare shoots for this thing. Maybe, maybe, like, one spare shoot. Because it's, um... Spare shoots? Yeah, yeah, it's like if you needed to repack them or something like that. Ah, that's that's okay. what what it is. Let's go ahead and change the de pre-deployment deployment altitude. Wow, they changed this significantly. Uh Huh. Is this are we still set on main shoot? Main? Yeah. Pre-deployment altitude. How high does this need to be? Pre-deployment speed. Um, wanted touchdown speed six. Let's bring that down to five. And is anybody familiar with the new real shoots? Also, pre-deployment is that like? Pre-deployment? Is that like precognition? Does that mean Tom Cruise is going to crash in through the window and try and arrest you before you've done anything interesting? Is that what's going to happen? Or... Show me. Uh, what, what is what is what does the the lady say? It's like, do do you see or something like that? Yeah. In that movie. Yeah. I like that movie. That movie was good. It was weird, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I, I like cyberpunk stuff like that, so it's yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I think I did the Although right thing. Although I, I, it, nothing compares to uh, um, the name that I've forgotten, <laughs> but it's right. All right. <laughs> it's all right. I was about to say something, and then my mind went elsewhere because I was reading chat, and then I lost track of what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. never read chat. Don't do that chat yeah don't read the comments <laughs> all right so we got those shoots um now we're gonna add the drogues nice i was thinking of blade runner by the way yeah blade runner yeah that's another philip k dick yes. novel um yes. something based on a philip k dick novel yeah all right so now got these parachutes um, let's go switch back to action groups here. Click here. This is going to be a drogue shoot. Drogue. Um, single. Let's go down to deploy. Parachute. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder why this stuff is... I don't know what this stuff needs to be set to. The drogues and the, um... Real shoots are weightless, though. That's all right. Oh, wait, what? How can they be weightless? That's very bad. Oh, there we go. No, it's saying that there's weight there and mass. 30,000 and 20. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, target altitude. Oh, I might need to go back to the other ones. Um, Alpha Door, in some ways, the movie was better than the book. The book's good, don't get me wrong. Um, do, do androids dream of electric sheep? Mm -hmm. The book is very good. The movie, in some ways, is better. It's a, it's, it's, it is, it is a bit, yeah. I think, in some ways, it better presents the, the whole concept more than the, um, than the book did. Okay, hopefully I'm doing this right. It's been a while since I messed around with real shoots. I've, I've had, like, uh, a setting that always worked, and now I'm, like, kind of unsure of myself. Um, I, I'm looking at it and it looks ridiculously complicated at this point. Like, here, here is a shoot technology that is so incredibly hard to drive. You don't even understand what half of it really means. That's anymore. what makes it's it like fun. Far. Oh, I got rid of it. Oh crap! Hopefully that. Yeah, it's 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 one. That's what far has kind of gone to that extreme of 
let's make it very nuanced to the point that nobody really quite understands what it's doing anymore. I see red text. I don't know if that's important. I don't think it's important. We'll find out. Keep on clicking this. Why click on the offset there? Can I click this in? No, it doesn't look good that way. All right, we'll go ahead. And... Oh, we could rotate this, can't we? Rotate snap too? Yeah, now it's snapping. Oh, it's just being weird for me. I don't know what it's doing. Just trying to place these in a way so they're not obstructing the the window there. I don't think I really can do anything about it. So I'm gonna go and get rid of this one and then just place them. It's the only thing that kind of annoys me with Ven's stock revamp. No, note the name stock. Um, removing the gimbal and changing some names and things. Kind of, it's getting to the point now where I, I don't really see it as stock anymore. I'm yeah. getting close to you and going back to the stock parts because um, I understand what he's trying to do, and the parts do look amazing. And yeah, the they command look great. great. The art is great. The, pro the problem is but. the command module has been redesigned so that the normal heat shield from Deadly Reentry that has worked for eons no longer fits correctly. So the bottom needs a tweak for that to line up. I don't really care if he does other stuff with the module. Just get that bit to line up with the Deadly Reentry thing, please. Uh, the other thing is the main cell losing the gimbal. That was I don't understand that. That was a weird choice, and it's not. And again, it's, it's not. It's the the main cell engine is no longer stock, which is frustrating. Must be perfect. All right, I think we got those parachutes kind of looking good. All right, so um, let's go ahead and make sure the settings are correct. Um, so deployment. Speed seconds. Oh, we could get rid of the extra shoots, spare shoots. Just yeah. one apply settings. I've taken to putting basically a monopropellant tank between the docking port and the command module, Seven. and then I can like pack that full of shoots. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> just, just slide them oh, all into God, there. Yeah. Well, actually, no. What I have basically what I do is I'll use. Um, I'll put uh, the shoots basically. Oh, these are back to main. On the top. So around the top edge, kind of, and then put a small monopropellant tank and then put the top port. So get them all crammed in there. Because uh, the shoots are awkward for this command module, I find. Hello, right. Lazarus. Trying to get this uh, command module con um, configured because the way I have it configured will basically, I'll just keep it that way for here on out, assuming it does work. And that's what we're going to be trying. So we'll be launching this thing, doing a full, full rigmarole, a rig, rigmarole of a test, making sure it works, and then uh, we'll just go ahead and call it a day for that design. So let's go ahead and add this part back on. Um, now, oh great! Now the shoots are all, everything's all wrong. What is this? Heat shield? No. This goes down here. There we go. Uh, drogues need to go first. Then a main shoot. Then the other. Yeah, there we go. That's the right order. Let's actually give this a little bit more. A little bit more length. Sorry, all the typing. All right, this is almost starting to look like a um, like a thing. Uh, like what's it? The um. CSM. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our safety device, our launch escape system. Is that in utility? Where is that? Yes, it is. Also, kind of a cool thing is now we can kind of clip the launch escape system into the docking port above it, and it makes things look 
nice and neat. Nice. Look at that. Also, I can do that with a docking port underneath it, too. Get rid of that extra gap. Yeah, you can just slide it down. Now, because how good is that? You just go clunk, clunk, job done. It is now fitting in the... This is the thing I don't understand with this part. You know what would have been, been good? Two attachment nodes. One at the very surface and one about in. So you could either attach it as a surface mount on the top of something, or you could pull it down a little bit and have it attached to the second bit. But the offset basically achieves the same thing without breaking stuff, which is super good. Look at that thing. It looks so good. Ah, crap. I did something. Broadcasting. Can't, thing. I, I can't apply... Uh... Shoot settings while everything's still attached. That's yeah. a that's a bad thing. That's really what? Why? Okay, why? I'm gonna have to. Why must, honestly, why must you remove the? Oh, because of the extra weight is. Yeah, it? basically calculate it for the entire vessel. Now everything's like I don't oh. know what to do. I'm confused. It's too much work. Oh. Okay. okay. Main, main, triple. There we go. There we go. And then apply settings, apply settings. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, back in business here. Reattach that. Um, staging is wrong though. Where's the static separator go? Main sail. What? What the heck? That goes down there. This goes here. Okay, all right. Can you go ahead and make this a little bit longer? Yeah, make this one. I am going to be back before you send this thing to space because I need to get something to eat. All I'm right. Eating. So I'm going to grab food and omnoms in the background and 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 stuff and things. That is a nice rocket. It's starting to look like something. It's starting, starting to look like something, shall yeah. we? Oh, yeah. And I, yeah. I, so there's the parachutes, and I remembered I want to make my upper stages have probe cores yes. in them because... Yes, so you can deorbit them. Yes, exactly. Yes. So... Mm -hmm. um, You could put a probe core on the top of the JC and then just slide it down and how good is that? No, I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna clip things. I can't clip things into fuel and I can't clip, I'm not gonna clip fuel into fuel. I have standards. I do have uh, standards. You, no, it's, it's Some fine. of you may not I mean, believe me, but I do have no, standards. No, 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 it's, I can understand. I'm okay with that. See, if it was empty, it had no fuel in it, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. Well, yeah, that. if it didn't have fuel in it, then I'd say, oh, it's a structural piece. Well, if you didn't, if you just made it a structural piece, then it'd be fine, wouldn't it? If you think about it. All right. So, where? Ah, uh, uh, cute. Yeah, good point. Can't find anything now because I don't have part catalog. Isn't that wonderful? No. How nothing you can find anymore? No. That's... See, a box that says search that you could type a word in would be great. There was a mod that did that. I had that installed a long time ago, but it didn't quite work 100% well with the newer versions of KSP. But that's quite nice, because you can start typing the words of what you want, and then, hey presto, there are the parts that relate to it. Oh, fairing! Good good call. What was that engine that I really... Skipper? Yeah. Or the K2L? Yeah, the K2L is crazy. If you've got a 3 meter part you want to put somewhere, K2L is the only engine. It is vacuum rated, it is, it is sexy is an engine that goes it's pretty sexy but mainsail and skipper are the two engines i like skipper in particular because it's very it's very user you can use it for all sorts of things it's very adaptable uh does that have sas on it should we what the uh remote guidance unit uh, yeah no that's point. just part of it i need to have a probe in there and then um i add extra reaction wheels 
just oh, thinking. Oh, okay, because the around. thing is, depending on the probe part, if it can't control the reaction wheels, they become redundant. Well, you'll have reaction wheels, but they become redundant, basically, because you can't get it to hit. You, you have no ability to lock it onto anything. Well, I'm not playing um, career, so I don't think it should matter. No, I suppose it's true, but if you wanted to be able to point the rocket in one direction, then have it stay there and turn SAS on, then the probe part needs to do that. But I think that one does, so it's all good. Okay, fuselage, fuselage. Building rockets I'm take some I'm time. I'm being told to eat, which is a good call, so I'll be back in a moment. All right. See you in a bit. I shall turn. I will turn. Good. Good, good. Also, I do like this report. Although, there's quite a lot of sass you have going on there. I'm a sass This person. rocket has much sass. It's very sassy. All right. Let's... Since we can, let's go ahead and bring these down in there. Since that is just empty space. Sorry, I haven't really been paying attention to the chat at all. Um, when I get into build mode, I really try to focus here. Uh, but hopefully, in just a moment, I can talk to you people, all you wonderful people, and see what's going on in chat. Um, but I've just been working on this a little bit. Also, I guess, suppose we don't need, like, need. <laughs> you know, I'll just leave it like that. You know, we could, um, we could attach this a different way, other rockets. But I like this the way it is. Uh, so now what we're gonna need to do is attach this, but obviously that's not gonna be enough fuel for what it is. We're gonna need to add other fuel, and I'm thinking about adding maybe, um, maybe a couple other tanks. Also, the, the size of this thing, it's kind of hard to guess the aspect ratio. It's supposed to match, does that look right? I mean, that looks close enough, I suppose. Oops. But what we'll do is add some other tanks. Maybe, just maybe, if we add these. Nah, I think these are too much, honestly. See, look at that. That's, you know, it's not too much, but it's just a little bit too much. Everyone tell me what you don't like about Ben's part. Are you are you going to be the guy that complains? I think we've already really went over it. It's not stock if he's changing uh, the way that the stock parts function. I guess a stock revamp, but that's I'm not I'm not going to use it because if the main sail doesn't have gimbals, I need gimbals here, especially for this right here. Need gimbals. Um, yeah. We might need to up the size of this anyway, so we might need to make this kind of a non-standard sort of size. Let's bring it all the way up to four meters, and then yeah, this is going to be a four meter vehicle, 7.5 already. Right, let's go ahead and bring this out to base. There we go. Let's bring the top up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this looks right. That looks a little stretched, but I think we're going to deal with it. All right, now we got an upper stage. It's going to have plenty of Delta V. Now we just need to go ahead and uh, put down our booster stage at the bottom. And we can go ahead and try and see if we can get this thing into orbit. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do this. Da, 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 da. Where's... Ah, it's not in structural, even though I want it to be in structural. Let's go ahead and bring this out. 
It's a four meter section. Might need to be bigger. Let's bring the height down to one meter. Bring the extra height up. And we will attach some other fairings on the side. Also, what is this? Why is that? That's in a weird spot. This goes down here. This goes down here. You linked a, a quick search mod. Oh, okay. Quick search, is that what it's called? Also, this looks perfect, honestly. I didn't even have to fine tune it. Great. Now we just need to go ahead and boost her at the bottom. Booster is going to be intense. We're already starting out this build session with completely unstandard uh, sizes. Probably need way more powerful engines that we already have to choose from. But we'll see. We'll go ahead and slap a KR2L on the bottom of this thing and see how well it does. Length. Here we go. That's on the wrong stage there. Boop. Yeah, see? We're at... Not enough. This is what we need for Delta V. And this is definitely rocket shaped. This is definitely, um, it's kind of a tall rocket, but it's um, the right shape that we want. Unfortunately, thrust to weight, eh, not good, not good at all. So what we're probably gonna need to do is actually fatten this thing up a little bit, put two KR2Ls on the bottom, and do it like that instead. I like your thinking. Yeah. I like your thinking. Because why have one awesome <laughs> KTL when you can have two? For twice the price. Two, yeah. Like, I, why have one when you have two for price? So let's just go ahead. See, putting the two of them on there. Um, oops. Yeah, that will give us. I mean, maybe not enough thrust to weight, that makes me comfortable, but it's definitely a good start. Uh, 1.35 from the launch pad, you know, it's respectable. Um, it's not like Saturn V slow, but, you know, it's still, still a little slow. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen an Atlas rocket, but it's kind of goofy looking. <clears throat> So, as we are right now, we've got length of 20 meters, diameter 4, about 20, 20,000 units of fuel. If we go ahead and increase the diameter of this thing, 6.25, might be too much. Let's bring it down to 5. Probably too little, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to use the offset here. Bring these as close together as possible. There we go. I can go and bring this down. Diameter. Length. See, now we've got a really interesting looking rocket, but it's, um, it should work. Let's go ahead and bring this up to five. Oh, that quick search. That's what I want. That's all I need. Quick search. So I, yes. Except it's, yeah. Why would you, mm, why would you put it on the left hand side that you then have to turn on and off? I suppose you can just leave it on. But, sorry. <clears throat> Carry on. You okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just looking at a mod and going, this looks awesome up until the point that it's really kind of, yeah, it's fine. I'm all good. Keep going. You're doing fine. 
All right, so booster stage. We should pretty this up still, huh? Yeah, we should pretty it up. Let's go ahead and add a strut here. All right, so it's 3.75. Interior doesn't really matter, just as long as it kind of goes in just slightly. Uh, so yeah, more gonna be doing more fairing voodoo. Um, let's go ahead and take one of these and I've been spending a lot of time just building a rocket. Just kind of notice how long sometimes this takes. Yeah, but you know, you want you good. want it you want it to you... be right. You know, that's right. It it has to be correct. I mean, after I've done build, I, after I'm done building it, if it works, then I just keep using it. That's the thing. Precisely. So, for all you haters out there, haters gonna hate. I don't know if there are haters out there, but just just so you know. Probably not. I'm getting to the point where I think my load zone because memory. That's all right. I'll just keep adding mods all day long. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to do it all weird. I can do it like this, and then... Broadcasting! So much time is gonna be saved with gizmos. So much time. Yes, the gizmos, the gizmos are a very vital thing. Never underestimate the gizmo. Also, I put it in the wrong spot, dang it. Whoopsie. Did I? Oh. Can you attach cubic octags to engines? No. No, you but you can attach engines to octags. Also, I have a mouthful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Our engines. Yeah, sounds sounds right. <laughs> All right. It's what I normally sound like. What do you want about? Yeah, but that's all weird in that direction. Yeah, that's we don't want that because it's using the curve in order to. But we can always use some other form of voodoo here. So let's go ahead and take this and take this. Thanks for the follows, guys. Do appreciate it. Go ahead and give you some shout outs here. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Where are Question. your names? Ninja Fighter, Radman, The Cookie Roller, George Foreman, Grease, <laughs> Yellow Boat. Thanks for the <laughs> follows. Question. You're asking questions. Have you considered putting a procedural tank at the very bottom and just flaring that out instead? No, that's fuel inside of fuel is is a no for me. No, no, I mean, just attach it to the bottom of the tank. This, so just have another fuel tank or just use a normal part of that fuel that just curves out so you've got more real estate for the engines. I've got, I've got a system. But, yeah, I like a system. Even, so... It looks good. Get a little smidge right there. And yeah, that. And then just slide the puppies in and job done. Yep. Very nice. Yep. yep, rotate, slide. How good are the gizmos? Gizmos Giz are pretty good. Gizmos OP. Gizmos yeah. VIP. Fix your game, Volvo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Volvo is one of the... Um, he was basically one of the guys that invented Dota. Oh, okay. So. Alright. It's, like, it's like Fixer a Game, Gaben. Yeah. Fixer a Game. That looks pretty darn good. 
Alrighty. We got a rocket. It's got hips. Yeah, it definitely does. They don't lie either. No, I was gonna say. I was gonna say she's, it's got legs, but it's starting to get into the whole ZZ top thing, which is probably not optimal. Alright, so we got the decouplers there. Let's go to make sure everything's staged right. What is this? Heat shield and interstate. What an interstage fairing adapter. What? Oh, this. And we can go and move that all the way up to the top. <sighs> Click through. They didn't fix that. I wrote the bug report myself. They didn't fix it. I'm pretty upset that they didn't get around to fixing that. Click through? The click through on the staging menu. It doesn't happen all the time, but when you're building large rockets... Yeah, it gets in the way. It, it is an issue. Yeah. Yeah, it should know that there's something above the window. Particularly the staging, for heaven's sake. It's been there, I don't know, practically half the game's history, so... I, I mean, I do understand that Harv, like, completely rewrote the entire, like, the AB and it, Space Plane Hangar code. So, mm. I, I understand why that would become an issue again, but... It needs to be... It, yeah. It needs to go away and die in a fire. Yes. Alright. Alright, so this... What are we going to name this rocket? It's kind of like... Kind of got an Atlas look to it. Is that is Atlas? Well, I'm, name, name, I'm still naming my things after Star Trek people, though. Can I call this the Picard? Well, this will be the Picard. Well, I don't know. It will make um, it so. I th I think I think the Troy. No, the, no, don't call it the Troy. No, yeah, the Troy. No, because it's going to spend the entire time micro analyzing everything. Yeah, doing. or just saying. I feel this, this almost feels like Lo Loxana. Like, oh, no, no, yes. no. That's yes. I. Yes. That out of all the yes. characters, I hate Loxana the most. <laughs> yeah, she was the worst. Oh, I'm having a midlife crisis. Gotta, gotta get the captain because he will make my life all better. No. The Pike. I like it. The Pike. The Pike. Ever done a? Original series name, yeah. I did a Tiberius after Tiberius Kirk, um, but I like the Pike. Go ahead and save this. Yeah, Christopher Pike, sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and make this a. You know what? Let's go ahead. The Cisco. The Cisco. <laughs> I like that. The Cisco. The Cisco. The Cisco the is temporal. The Cisco. Yes. Um. Oh yeah, what are we doing? We're action groups. We need to set up action groups. Uh, abort is toggle that engine and decouple that thinger. And nine is toggle the engine and decoupling and undocking that node for great justice. Eight is All these shoots. I think I should just set everything to the auto arm, honestly. Yes. Wait, you got deadly reentry? No, I wouldn't recommend that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Let's go ahead and yeah, save it. Yeah, because deadly reentry. Because remember, you will want to launch the release those things when you're at a safe velocity, not yeah. at the velocity deadly. Because it might go, oh look, I'm doing 300 meters a second, but I'm at this altitude, so I should open the chutes mm -hmm. now, and they're all going to get ripped off, and yeah. you're going to be very sad. So, I would go with the whole, let me press a button when I feel like nobody's going to die. Alright, this will be the first rocket launched in the new save. Um, this will be nice. a, um, what is this? That's dead for entry. Uh, this will just be a simulation. Because I do not have a um, a network set up to tell this thing to act act appropriately, so we're just going to go ahead and just run a simulation with simulated kerbals in there. So it's going to be an inappropriate rocket. A inappropriate. Wait, what? Well, you said it's not appropriate. So does that make it an inappropriate rocket? I don't know. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, yes, I it's guess an it... inappropriate rocket. It'll job be, done. Yeah. All right, so. <clears throat> I like that simulation and air quotes. Yep. 
gonna go ahead and do all sorts of simulation stuff. We're gonna first just try the launch abort simulation. So let's just go ahead and do a... Looks like all the shoots will deploy. Or not. Looks like the shoots did nothing. Well, that was interesting. I wonder if that was just because I was too close to the ground, or I did the sh parachutes wrong. No, well, they opened, and then... Yeah, and then I kept gaining oh, speed. But... Yeah, it's because you're quite... Remember, shoots, they don't work like normal shoots. Yeah, I know, they but still... Because it, there's like it's. it's I it's I know I they that what I did would have worked in the previous install. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, look, I, I I quite agree with you. They should have worked, and at that distance, you'd think they would be guaranteed to work. Yes. They the should. shoots. They did nothing. Yeah. Busted shoots. Hooray. I was making shoots not work as good because that's an improvement. I don't understand. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a launch abort here. See how it goes. Really stable, up, uppy goiness. Um, at a thousand, we'll go ahead and do an abort. That's going up. That's a good thing. Abort. Nine. And then, I'm gonna wait for. Okay. Maybe I just don't think the um the main shoots had time to deploy. Yeah, the main shoots didn't have time to deploy and holy crap my everything just exploded. What is that over there? Did you just bomb everything? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the shoots are taking too long to open. What was up with that? There they go, they didn't fly. But we're okay now. Yeah, this it'll definitely work. It'll definitely work. All right, let's go ahead and do RIP another launch. launch pad. Yep. Rip in pieces. Launch pad, and the crawl away. No. Oh, and everything's. Did you hit the VAB? Tell me you hit the VAB. Yeah, I didn't explode though. So. Dang. Alrighty, this will be our first launch simulation to see if we're even close to getting into orbit. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. I am my I simulated a launch pad, just got de-simulated. Did you just destroy the pad? Well, it, again. No, no, it's previous. That's what he's talking about. Oh, okay. Also, thank you for following Marco Donna. One, two, three. Welcome to the quest. Beginning pitch maneuver. Oh, I should have controlled from the right location. Luckily, this thing isn't too part heavy, so it's isn't too wobbly. But I am not controlled from the proper location, so sometimes this might want to veer off course here. Tell me, warning, shoot deployment unsafe. Well, thank you for telling me that. Is there any way for that to turn off? Because I know it's unsafe. You don't need to tell me. Yeah, I'm going to have a look because it does it to me as well. It's deadly reentry doing it. There should be a toggle for it, I would think. It probably just needs a configuration file change. I think I pitched over a little bit too fast, but it's... Uh... Eh, you're going pretty quick. Let's be honest. You're already doing an excessive... You're probably doing 500 meters a second as I speak. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm 650. Yeah. At that altitude, dude, you're hauling the proverbial. Service compartment tubes. Um, I like the I like the idea. I just don't like the execution. I've looked at the that one so many times, so I just never installed it because I just don't like the way they look. Sorry to say. Ah, 
I don't think you can turn the warning off. So I'm looking through the config files to see if that's an actual mm -hmm. toggle. And no. It just get, there's just the effects configuration, there's nothing here. Unless there's something there for shoots. Oh, why am I overheating? Mm. Oh, I know why I'm overheating. You're this going tank is, No, the tank is too big. I need to uh, put a, yes. uh, a different tank below it, so it won't do that. So yep. thanks for the follow, whoever you are. Who are you? <laughs> Iron Golems, welcome to the quest. I heard the wow, 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 wow. I was like, that's a bad sound. That's a very bad sound. We do not want yeah, that sound. No, you don't want to hear that sound. You, you really, really do not want to hear that sound. There is a deadly re-entry configuration for real shoots. Hmm. That's probably a good thing. Wait, that mainsail overheat thing is still an issue? Yeah, you just don't see it that uh, as often. I think they just changed the parameters slightly. Yeah, because the mass overheat was, basically it was on purpose, but they kind of scaled it a bit much, so now it's a bit less. Switching to orbital telemetry. We've got simulated orbital telemetry lock. Four kilometers a second, cruising at 131 kilometers above the surface. I don't know if I made this rocket big enough. I think my ascent profile is a little less than stellar. How many Twitter followers have I got in this stream? I don't know. Uh, zero? I was going to say, you what, Twitter once once a month kind of thing, don't you? Oh, I, occasional message. I decided to get more into it because it's useful. I got, it I got one. We got one! We got one! Alrighty, so that was a little bit too close for comfort as Delta V wise because it's um just slightly just basically we have barely de any Delta V left. That's fine though. Um, also, we need to add uh, remote control stuff on this low up on this upper stage, but yeah. Did you try looking at using a skipper engine and the um and adjusting the fuel tank to get the same? No, it's uh, the skipper was way too um, didn't have enough thrust away. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a good point. Do and I have a YouTube? Kind of too big. Of course, yeah, I've definitely got a YouTube. You see, so there's a thing will cycle there. So this is Twitter right now. But yeah, it should be the JJ. Also, you can just click on the thing below there. Yeah, he's <laughs> make one B is trying to make a point. This. You say barely. You got fifteen hundred meters a yeah, second. Yeah, I know, but I left. want to make sure that the upper stage is able to bring it into orbit without using any of my um, payload fuel. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, good point. Because then I can tell my uh, my rocket to deorbit, <laughs> so I can save. I can reduce the amount of junk in orbit like that by doing that. It's kind of a thing I do. Anyway, uh, let's make sure this works. Of course, this is going to work. So really, what I'm going to do is just um. Just go directly from the deorbit now, just to see the deorbit properties. And as soon as we, um, as soon as we get this thing, you know, confirm that it is uh, orbit capable and, and crew rated, then we'll go ahead and start doing actual missions here. Sweet. Um, that silver tank does look good, doesn't it? <laughs> I I do like it. That's it's a just, nice got... tank. That's a nice tank. All right. So yeah, I'd say we're in orbit. Let's go in orbit once. This is a simulated orbit, of course. Have I ever tried dang it? No, I haven't. Somebody was telling me. I was like, no, it's not crappy. It's actually a cool idea. I'm like, all right, well, I'll have to look into it, and I didn't. Yeah. Because I'm a bad person. I, I, I've I've heard people describe it and say, oh, it's so cool because it does this, that, and the other thing, and I'm like. My game periodically crashes for no good reason in the <laughs> middle of something fairly important. I already have dang it. It's called KSP, <laughs> and it makes you say dang it. So I don't need a mod to simulate other failures when I already get a bunch of failures as it is. I can just I add default failures it, instead. It's KSP. <laughs> hey, Chronic Fender. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a deorbit maneuver here. This thing is it pulling over to the side, or am I just imagining that? I think I'm just imagining it. Uh, periapsis of about forty should be fine. Doesn't really matter for these uh, low curve in orbit. Velocities, it's um, it'll work, it'll work anyway. Relax, you're doing fine, <laughs> it works well. Yeah, a little bit more fuel just to give you that, as you say, that little bit of extra safety and the ability because it also means that if you wanted to, you could. It would allow you to more easily place the MPV in a higher orbit. Yes. And I think you just got transcoding, but I could be wrong. Transcoding? No, I didn't get transcoding. No, sadly. It's just, I just watched it buffer and I thought, ah, transcoding. Uh, no. no, it's just bad connection. <laughs> it's not transcoding. Yeah, you use something to chop away, but your internet. Your internet. I think it's your internet, actually. Actually, it's probably my internet. <laughs> my internet. My internet. <laughs> I don't have the internet per se. I have a bit of string with some modems at each end. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's kinda, you're getting your internet off of a wet noodle or something. I, 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 this is what I have for my internet is a piece of copper wire that's been in the ground for the last probably 45, 50 years or more. Half uh, a century. What, half a century. Probably more. Oh, actually, no, it may not be. But the problem is, it has basically every bridge tap, which is a um, an extra chunk of copper hanging off it. I have hundreds of those things stuck on it, which means that my internet, even though I'm like about 900 meters from the exchange, uh, and I should be getting like awesome speeds, I don't, and it loses frames because my copper is rotting in the ground, and they won't fix it. It's lovely. So we're actually slowing down right now. Trajectories installed, but it doesn't really tell the right information. Yeah, trajectories. If it coped with um, RSS, well, yeah, if it coped with RSS, it'd be fine. Because trajectories obviously co copes with with far no trouble at all. But um, who knows? Yeah, if the, if the trajectories mod ever gets a little toggle switch, you can say I'm using RSS. You know, what what is my scale factor of six point four? Then it'll be great. Although you could probably change it, you could probably actually tweak it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm accelerating or there? decelerating. What is the, if you go to the settings drop down, what does that show for trajectories? I'm just curious what other options it's got. Body fixed mode. Complete. No, that's not. Target. Set. No. Settings. Max patches, max frames, auto update. Use Blizzy's toolbar. No, it's. Okay. Nothing yeah. That matters. It's a shame. I was hoping there might be something in there that you could change the. Because it, it just it just needs to be adjusted so that it is aware that the planet is bigger. Because well, all it really knows is the scaling factor, and as long as it knows that, then it should be able to recompute without too many trouble at all. Because right now it's it's it'll give you it'll be in the ballpark, but it won't be quite right because it's basically you've got an extra what is it twenty thousand meters or fifteen thousand meters that it has to add um, of upper atmosphere, which kind of screwed up. We are still decelerating here. And if you had a a physics teacher that like made a big deal about things, it's like there's no such thing as deceleration. It's just acceleration in a different direction. Yes. Get it. <laughs> just trying to say relative to the planet, though, I'm going slower and slower and slower. Well, you could just say I am slowing down as opposed to yes. decelerating, so that your physics teacher doesn't lose his yeah. pr proverbial. While slowing down in one reference frame is speeding up in another reference frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sensing some some of Shimmy's troubled youth <laughs> resurfacing. Just troubled, just troubled life that people people right now will probably say. You know, will probably try to correct me right now. So it's uh. <laughs> it's chat, dude. You've got nearly three hundred people in chat. Someone is going to correct you, yes. guaranteed. I'm speeding up slower, exactly. I'm slowing down quicker. Oh, re-entry effects. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? At that altitude? Yeah, I think the effects modifier needs to be changed, because I'm not really... I'm... I don't know, really. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it... You're at 73 kilometers. Why is it... Sh oh, I suppose that's right. No, it's not. It's different than what it used to be. Is this deadly rent? Yeah. Which? Deadly reentry and far, and 6.4. I didn't. Okay. I didn't make any changes, by the way, to my config. I just okay. left it the way it, it was. I I always thought that the it kicked in closer to about fifth about 55, 60 kilometers. Yeah. But. Well, basically before like 50 kilometers is where you'd mm. get like multiple G's, or at least you start to yeah. get like a full G. Like now it's. There's more atmosphere up a little bit higher. I don't know if you're going to get the yeah. same thing, but you have pretty oh, much I, the same I probably install will. as I me, know, right? I know that the, he's made changes to deadly reentry, which mean that we don't have to tweak anything now for the heat modifier and everything to be correct, because it looks like he's using a scaling factor to control uh, height and stuff now, mm -hmm. which means if you scale a planet up and down, it doesn't matter anymore because it's no longer... Wor it works on whatever ratio is in use, I think, rather than... I don't know, it's weird. It just works now, though, which is nice. But the offset of that is it's probably truly calculating the fact that the atmosphere effectively starts higher and it's like, yeah, because of the scaling. Our control sense. says whenever you make a burn and say you're accelerating, I'll say that you are decelerating. Thank you. <laughs> just be that guy. Thank you. You're accelerating in the wrong direction. In a different direction, that's right. Because, yeah, that whole deceleration thing is a whole phantom force or something. Phantom whenever the physics, yeah, whenever physics people talk to me, I get to a certain point where I glaze over. Because it's like, I wish I had a brain that understood what you were saying. But because I don't, I'm just going to fall asleep now. I'm so sorry. If I only had a brain. Now I want to watch Wizard of Oz. I think I'll watch that instead. I like musicals. Wizard of Oz was a weird, it's a weird story. Also, I've kind of noticed this. This thing like naturally wants to stay in a in a lifting body sort of angle here. That might be the interesting. Yeah, it uh. might be the shoots. I want. I don't know. I don't think. 
No, it might be the heat shield that you. No, because it's the stock heat. It's, it's the stock dealer entry heat shield. I don't know what it eh, is. It's not. It's not really flying. It's just on the. Yeah, but you. <coughs> you've got you've got SAS off as well. Yeah. So it's gonna. But no, it's stable. This is the stable <laughs> trajectory. So it's creating yeah. a little downforce because it's not going completely ballistic. Yeah. You've only got shoots on one side as well, haven't you? That's what it is. You've only got shoots on one side, yeah? No, it's on the wrong side, though. It should be going the other no, direction. No, 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 no. You've only got shoots on one side, correct? It's creating drag, which is causing the... It'll be... Effectively, so the top uh, part of the craft is moving slightly slower than the bottom, so it will cause it to lean forward. I suspect it's possible what it is. But what you just described would give it a different effect. Really? Yeah, it would. Because the drag would want to push the upper the upper part back. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, it, it would. would. Slow it down. That's the exactly going, what... That's oh, what... yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Something weird's <laughs> going on. But I like it. It's fine. Keep going. Also, you're, it's it's a very nice descent, dude. How's your Blade of Shield doing? Uh, you something to chomp like, now? nothing. Now, I yeah, it's not until, not until a bit later. It's about thirty, about twenty nine, thirty k. It's about twenty five k or something. Because that's when it smacks into the thickest part of the atmosphere, which is where it really starts to get shredded. But at that point, it's like I've I'm already slowed down significantly, so it's yeah, it doesn't really matter. Well, uh, the, the 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 yeah, this this command module, it's it slows down good just because of that nice big flat bottom. Um, but yeah, it, the, 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 mm. It kind of makes me think this might be too easy, and I might need to set it to hard. Well, if you set it to hard, it'll turn off the ratio sc scaling that it's using, which means you will instantly explode as you come through the atmosphere. You'll get, like, literally no warning, it'll just stop. But then again, it did blow up my shuttle, so it does yep. work. No, 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 it is, it is working. Yeah. What you should see, as long as you, because you remember, you were only going barely over orbital velocity, yeah. so you, you didn't have a very high orbit. Try doing this, coming in same angle. You also had a fairly shallow uh, reentry angle as well. Try doing this coming in from Duna, doing like eight thousand meters a second. Yeah. Pinball straight into the atmosphere in one pass and tell me you'll survive. Nope. At eight k, it'll just explode. Basically, you basically can't deorbit at eight k. Uh, the craft will go through too many G's and, and or heat and explode. But to me it looks like it's working properly. Although the heat shield doesn't seem to be ablating quite as quick as... Yeah, it didn't ablate like at all. Like 867, that's... Yeah. What devil do... It's on normal, I think. Yeah, it's this, normal. You could put it on hard and try again, but I suspect it's going to be a lot more brutal. Because if it doesn't take scaling into account, then you're boned. Because it's going to immediately switch to the old flight model, which means it will need to be tweaked. And you will have to do multiple, de -orbit uh, multiple orbits around the planet to slow down. Nice. Yeah. We'll go ahead and hit 1k, and then we'll go ahead and see what happens. Because the heat shield is like... Actually, the heat shield... Yeah. Even at this the heat point. heat shield's heavy. Yeah, yeah but I, it has I, a lot of surface area, so it doesn't yeah. want to separate from the craft immediately. Great. It's only, it's only going to release as soon as you... It also has a very high drag coefficient. Yeah. Uh, it'll only release basically once the chute's open and you dramatically reduce your speed and then it'll drop off pretty quick and it'll pop off like a Pringle lid. Pringle! Once you pop, you can't stop! Yeah, that shield's doing quite the interesting thing. It's really isn't. I 
Okay, so we know that this works. We know at two and a half kilometers, we are falling at six meters a second. That's great. We're going to go ahead and revert the flight. Nice. Um, I would say that that is a success. We're going to need to redesign the upper state. Oh, we're going to go ahead and just change a bit of the... Um, of the rocket here just so it's a little bit more balanced what i'm probably going to do is do the good old attach a smaller tank on the bottom there it make, it make the thing a little bit more wobblier but it's um it'll make sure the overheat thing doesn't happen and also should give us a little extra wait what, what? okay yeah yeah uh Go ahead and reattach that. Get a little extra length here. You know what? Now nah, let's let's do something a little bit more interesting. We are going to put a put a structural or not a structural piece, a tank on the bottom. Look a tank. Let's go ahead and set it to a cone. Let's go ahead and flip it upside down. Hmm. Yes. My Yeah, that gives you that just that little bit extra fuel, and also decouples it from the large tank, which will probably stop it from overheating as yep. well. Nice, very nice. That's a and nice tank. That's a nice tank. Actually, I kind of like the stripey texture too, but no stripes for you. I don't know. What do I have no it set to? Uh, yeah, I have it set to stripes. I can leave it on stripes. Um. Oh, that's right. It's so you've just got a single procedural fairing there. Is it me or does the single procedural fairing look a bit weird? It's got this whole. I don't it's remember not it looking single. like that. It's actually two. It's actually two. Yeah, it's the active texture it's management. Ah, uh, it's thing. ATM that's done it. Yeah. yeah. I kind of didn't want to have ATM installed, but it's. We have to. We don't have a choice. And also, um, OpenGL uh, yep. completely disables. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, Anti-aliasing. Yes, it does. Which is not no good. bueno for me, because I mean, I, I tried to like like it, but I was like, nope. It, everything just looks. That and worse. the uh, that and the appreciable lag it adds just makes a whole kind of thing. It's I mean, like I honestly don't we have just... this lag everybody talks about, but no. Well, it depends on the graphics cards. Like I've got two GTX 690s, and they do not like um, OpenGL at all for whatever oh, reason. Dang. They just don't behave well. Maybe it's because I've got SLR enabled. I don't know. But for whatever reason, I just get awful lag. It's it's fine doing normal things in, from a building perspective, but as soon as you put something on the pad and then press the go button, I just get ridiculous much lag. Um, so I've kind of moved on. The dumb thing is OpenGL is potentially a better rendering engine than DirectX. Um, it's capable of more. It's just not used. But I'm just hoping that um, uh, Unity 5 is actually a stable 64-bit. I don't care if it doesn't... I, I don't even care if we don't really get multi-threading anytime soon. Just being stable and having that extra memory limit would just be phenomenal. So, thanks for following... Who followed? G-Man Boy. Welcome to the quest. Alright, let's go ahead. So, <clears throat> what the thing about playing with remote tech, it's very important that I have that I have equipment, or, or I, I have satellite, relay satellites in orbit. We're going to need to launch a bunch of relay satellites. Um, but, you know, let's go ahead and do another test, but we know that everything is functionally working, so let's go ahead and build this thing, actually get some voluntoldies uh, from the chat, and do our thing. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and resave this as the the Quest Expedition Zero One.
Actually, 101. Let's do 101. Quest Expedition 101. And it'll launch, build the vessel. Broadcasting. Thanks for following Rio Drift. Welcome to the quest. Hello, you man boy. Uh. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Nice. So we're about to go to space? Yeah, we are about to go to space. Nice. I'll just take my temperature gauge outside. Sweet. 37 and a half degrees Celsius at the minute. It's a bit warm. It's like 37 and a half degrees Fahrenheit here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking that's probably much nicer than this. It's a little bit... uh, well, it's a little chilly for us zonies here. Okay, let's uh, close this up. Oh. VAB. In storage. Ro oh, now it's got a rollout button. Roll out! Oh, and it takes 12 hours to roll out? Really? Oh, great. What? <laughs> oh, they've added rollout now. Yeah, they've added wow. rollout. I'm sorry, your game isn't taking long enough. <laughs> I need to induce more delay because of reasons. It takes 12 days to roll the rocket out. No, 12 hours. What looks like 12 hours to roll out something that looks like it's about 300 meters, 200 meters, it's 300 very, meters maybe. It's a very slow roller, I guess. Yeah, I mean the crawler was slow, but it like took, what, a day something? But under about a day to but roll it, but out. It, but that's it, it, like, like, like one point something kilometers or something. Yeah. You're right. It's a very slow crawler. Now it's on the pad. Oh. And and you've upgraded a whole bunch of stuff too, by the way. What do you mean? Well, didn't you unlock a whole bunch of... Yeah, oh, no, well, yeah, I mean, but... Bad. Like, in the game, like, if you play full career, you can get a lot more points. Yeah than that, so. So anyway, let's go ahead and voluntold some people. Um, Sweet. You are going to space. It's voluntold -y, right? Is that? Yes. <laughs> voluntold -y, voluntolder. voluntold -er. voluntold -er. two E's, good work. I like I it. I don't know, voluntold -er. What's the way I'm tr you know, if you have a volunteer, but if you're being voluntold, voluntold, voluntoldy, something. I don't know what I say. Alrighty. Winner, and the winner is no I, oh, he can't go, he's dead. And the winner is <laughs> Squared Specs. <laughs> nice, Squared Specs. You are going to space. Alrighty. And the next winner is Robot Battalion. Alrighty. We're sending the Robot Battalion to space. And the next winner is Squared Specs. Cheats, hacks. Cheats, hacks. Funny man. Three or four. All right. Funny man. Nice. Alright, we got four, four Kerbals to go. Perfect. And let's go ahead and go into our crew roster. You'll be the first four Kerbals in orbit here. Also, ah, oh, what did I do? What did you do? Somehow I time warped like crazy. Ah, uh, it's probably because you clicked on the screen and it yeah, clicked and it through the click thing. through. Click through. You will die. Come on, Harvester. Yeah. Please, please. Oh, well, this is a mod, so it's. Whoever. No, but what's happening is it's picking up the fact that you've clicked on something above the thing and it's part, it's click through. It's it's the same freaking click through bug. Yeah, but more, the the mod devs actually have the ability to stop that. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, you but, can just go ahead and blame everything on Harvester if you want. You know, no, you, you no, probably deserve no, it. It is a, there's a lot of things that you can click through, and it's not just mods. It's even default stuff you can click through. So. All right, we got <laughs> Squared Specs, Robot Battalion, and Funny Man Zero Four.
Nice. I'm putting the capitals in there so I know how to read the name, because I got the brain damage, and I don't know how to read. Let's go ahead and add. Yeah, it's it's like, and the funny thing is, you'll get people following, and you'll look at their name, and you'll go, and, and, and then you go back and look at your email, and, oh, it's back. But when you see it on stream, because your brain's in another place, you look at the word and you go, I can't pronounce something simple like Barry. It comes out really weird. So. All right, let's uh, prepare for launch here. We'll go ahead and bring ourselves into a higher orbit, kind of like Orion did. Um, so we're preparing for launch here. Let's go ahead and F5 for safety. Uh, looks like, got plan. can we dump that waste in the wastewater? Carbon dioxide. Uh, there's extra junk in there that we can. It doesn't really matter. All right, preparing for launch. Lift off. In five, four, three, two, one. And lift off of Quest Expedition 101, bringing the first Kerbals into low carbon orbit to test the new. The new vehicle, the Sirius MPV, and the Pike. Medium lifter. Nice. I'm still waiting for the... Oh, there we go. Now you've launched. I am lagged so bad. I think I'm going to reload your stream, Jimmy. I am... What is it saying? Yes, I am, I am 21... 22 seconds shy of watching you live. Hey, bad. Vessel is already 170 kilometers, or no, kilometers, no, meters second altitude. Altitude? Yeah, it's... What, what um, am I saying? I'm what, going what, fast. What is, I'm I'm going up. It's what I'm You're really going saying. up quickly. Yes. Also, I didn't control from the right location, so this is going to be a little wobbly. Broadcasting. Thanks for follows, Ray. Welcome to the quest. Looks like we have solid ascent profile here. We have another minute and ten seconds before main engine flame out. Separation and activation of the upper stage engines. Shimmy, I don't want you to panic, but apparently shoot deployment is now unsafe. <laughs> the IP 170 kilometers a second of altitude. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, I, I know, words. and he was giving you crap for it. Yeah. I, I guess I deserve it. Broadcasting. Thanks for follows. Yep. Exist stock. Welcome to the quest. Thanks it was follow. funny, though. We are 17 seconds before main engine cutoff. Separation activation over upper stage vacuum rated engine. feel like main sale should be renamed to main and speech marks vacuum rated sale. <laughs> yeah. So. I think I'll go into the config and edit it myself. That, I don't think, I think random tank is here. No, Jamie but I think you it. should do that before random tank gets back. Yeah. So all the engines. This is a vacuum rated engine. Even the jet engines. This is a vacuum rated engine. <laughs> vacuum rated engine. <laughs> Put in caps in the config file and then descriptor. This is a vacuum rated engine. Alright, looks like we have a solid ascent here. Uh, we are currently at 104 kilometers in altitude and rapidly climbing, traveling at a velocity of 2300 meters a second and climbing at a current stable g-force of 1.5 g's, current apogee of 150 kilometers. You don't want your first mission to be your last. 
I'll try and make that not happen. Or happen. I'll try to make sure you li live. I don't like to kill Kerbals. Nicely. I do, I do like that tank placement now with the engine. It looks better with the whole Yeah. Thing. Dude! Data Lanch donated $5. May oh, your nice, dude. Be awesome. high, your sacks be low. Happy New Year, Shinny. Keep up the. I don't see the rest. Good work. Nice Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, buddy. Thanks for the subscription, the double subscription, the fake, real subscription. It's it's a subscription in my heart. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that. And that uh, definitely solves the question of whether or not my donation button works. I did switch to a new, uh, a new system again, so it's I didn't get to uh, test that. Ah, uh, using Twitch Alerts website. Yep, the Twitch Alerts website. So it's well, everything is. In one place. Yeah, it's in one place. I was looking at that and pondering it. It's definitely worth a ponder. Definitely worth a ponder. It's tempting. It looks interesting. <laughs> it's got a dancing taco. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't use the dancing taco. Well, yeah. I wanted my own, but I was really, I really wanted to put a dancing taco on the thing. Because, I mean, come on, it's a dancing taco. It's a dancing taco. What's like? I might have less Delta V than I did last time. You have more white than the last time. Wait, what? How yeah, does but that I, work? Yeah. I'm just I'm just bad at this game, evidently. I added I, don't... I added fuel in the wrong place. Hmm. Well that's gonna re enter. We still um, need to fix that. But you <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm just I'm just looking and I'm just trying to make sense of how you could add more it's more weight. Probably, probably the fairings added significant weight. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Because you might be better off with just having, instead of, oh, you kind of can't have, not have the fairings. Yeah. Hmm. For the lower stage, I might want to switch to five main cells. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go and extend our panels here. Now we've got a communications equipment on this thing, but it's actually pretty useless because we do not have a network yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is pretty much just bring our apoapsis as high as we possibly can. It's a good kind of um, test. And then we'll go ahead and do a re-entry. You know, Space Mouse Fifth, I don't think I have, have you? Sorry, you talking to me or someone yeah, else? Yeah, yes. Uh, going to Jewel in 6.4. Have you ever changed your mission to the Jewel system or 6.4? No. I could if I play Sandbox because then budget is no longer a concern. I can build big and stupid. Uh, Give me your beard. <laughs> That's a little creepy. Oh, this thing's got some serious thrust to weight here. Alright, I'll give it a safe 500 meter second in case we need to go ahead and change it around. But yeah, we've got a, um, an apoapsis of. 4,500 meters? Very nice. Uh, 4,500 kilometers? Yeah, that's, that's that's the term I was looking for. 4,500 nice. kilometers. Alrighty, so, 
You're looking great. What am I doing here? I am testing out a uh, new spacecraft here. We'll go ahead and coast to Apoapsis. We'll do a slight burn at Apoapsis to verify that we. Um, I don't need to verify anything. We'll do the we'll do the uh, the, the the burn at Apoapsis to bring our uh, periapsis low into the atmosphere again, and uh, we'll go ahead and deorbit. So. Oh, oh I d almost did the thing where I burnt prograde because I flipped around when I shouldn't have. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty. You can do it. Go, go, go. Honestly, though, the um, trajectory is wasn't bad in predicting what what it was gonna do. I was pretty surprised. All right, let's go ahead and do a periapsis of fifty kilometers. Never know, we're going to land in the same spot again. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> but that is not including the fact that we are going to separate from our service module. Trajectories is really confused. Uh oh, ominous music. Morning song. Hey, that's uh -oh. a little bit too early. Can't be morning oh. for anything yet. It's not morning here anymore either. So, who's that? Oh, mo like mourn, like you, like you mourn for something. Oh yes. <laughs> well, you haven't murdered any kerbals yet, so it's probably a little bit premature, really, isn't it? Yeah. We can make it, yes. Alrighty. We're just hitting atmospheric interface. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die, guy. What do you mean? I don't even have a last name. You have a last name. Do I? Dude, Wildland Firefighter donated $20! Holy crap! Wow, nice, dude. That's very nice. Dude, thanks for hours of entertainment to make my nights filled with fun and science. No problem, buddy. I try to do what I do, and I try to do it well. I'm sorry that I missed some streams the past uh, week. I felt kind of bad about that, but I, you know, I wanted to make sure this, this thing was going to work right, so... Thank you very much for that, for that, uh, subscription of, it's like, four months, right? no, it's like eight months, that'd be like an eight month subscription right there, if that were a, uh, subscribe button, that was a sub button. Alright, hopefully I won't kill any Kribble Knots. Any of you guys from the chat? How are we doing? Yeah, actually, this doesn't look accurate uh, for the prediction. Yeah. I wish there was a way for it to, like, know if I'm going to be entering backwards or forwards. Getting pretty hot here. Pretty hot.
Uh, max G-Force of four, pretty much. Can you rename Kerbals? Yes I, yes, I can. That's why we have Robot Battalion, Squared Specs, and Funny Man, 04, Kerbal, Kerman, you're on board. Kerbals from, from the chat. Yeah, that giant radioactive hill. That is, it is, it is the future, and the future is bright. It's the future, it's the horizon. I don't know what it is. Some weird artifact. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Zogs. I know that feeling. My previous career is just not gonna work in this version of the game, so I just had to start over. So how are we doing on a blade of shield? Only slightly more, but yeah, it's, it seems like we've got plenty, honestly. <laughs> we've got plenty of heat shielding. survive that. We're still going supersonic. We got a solid re-entry here. Um, if everything works the way it normally does, so we kind of hit the clouds, we'll be activating our parachutes here. Nice. Yeah, it'll buy me several tacos, yes. It will buy me several tacos. What is today, Friday? Friday, isn't it? Uh, Saturday for me, but Friday for you, yes. Yeah. I live in the past, you live in the future. Yeah, it's good like that. Also, I need to change the position of that decoupler. Yeah, this thing definitely likes to spin when the parachute's open. Oh, parachute- oh! Deployment failed. Did it break? Did I, did I break it? Okay. It just meant it, it, it failed, but it, um... But it still is gonna work. Alright! <clears throat> That's why I pack two sets of shoots to be activated. Uh... Just in case that didn't work, I would have had a second. Dude, Stephen J. 61 donated five dollars. Thanks for streaming. Keep awesome. me entertained at work. P.S. Don't spit it all on one burrito, but the Chipotle burritos, man. I definitely, you know, this... I definitely love the uh, the Chipotle burrito. Thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. Really do, it really helps me out. Um, you know, the any any and all donations help me continue to stream at the uh, consist consistency. Uh, that I do, so. Definitely helps. Alrighty. Oh, 
I don't think the parachutes are any bigger. They might be bigger. These parachutes are pretty freaking huge. Are you safe? Are you safe? No, you've all died. No, you're safe. Oh, <laughs> no, you're you're only safe when I actually hit that recover button. That's when you yeah. know you're safe. And then I go into the into the uh, save file and verify that you're still in there. That's how we know. Kerbals look fine now. Safe is good, yes. Okay. 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 Fizz work down here. These cables. I need to look a little less thick, but they're still pretty thick. Chunky cable is chunky. Yeah. Oh, we need to separate our heat shield. We no longer need that. Oh, and it's extra white. Get rid of that. Yep. You slow down more. It's great. Can you buy a Plaid DX racer? I don't know what that is. What is that? What's a DX racer? Makes me think of DirectX. But I don't think yeah, I'm not sure. What the? Trying to get there. <laughs> it's built in or not? <laughs> I appear. Would you splash down already? We we don't have all day. We need to space. Alrighty, we've spaced. Nice, nice work with the spacing. You know. Is the water actually, like, done right now? It actually looks like no. the water's done okay in in uh, RSS. It? Yeah, it looks like yeah. it, it isn't clipping all weird or whatever. It's, it's something new and exciting. I like that. Yeah, new and exciting, meaning it works like the stock game now, but yeah. Alrighty. Yes, that's what I meant. It's behaving itself now. <laughs> oh, EX racers are gaming chairs. Oh, okay. I see. Ah, okay. A pro streamer chair. Oh. Oh, I see. I don't know if you've ever seen this chair I sit in, but it's a pretty good chair, dude. Uh, People can't can't have you for that. It's a pretty good chair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think the day I get rid of this and go to a DX racer is the day I lose part of my soul. Yeah, it's not happening, dude. Stick with what you got. <laughs> I'm not trying to poop on your on your I, suggestion, but uh, the, the, this chair has done me good. <laughs> Please recover us! I'm scared. <laughs> All righty. Mild, mild panic sitting in. Yes. Congrats, Kerbals, Kerbinots, for surviving that trip. It was kind of a pointless. That was a proof that the technology does work, but we're going to need to go ahead and look into the Delta V situation again because we had even less than last time. I think it was because we had less for us to wait at the launch, so we might need to go ahead and redesign this thing one more time. Um, so how much thrust do we have at the beginning? What is this? Oh, let's go ahead and switch over to right. There we go. Um... Disable settings. Thrust is 5,000 kilonewtons. I think we could go for a little bit more. If we went 1,500, 7,500, 4 would be 6,000. We could go with 4 mainsails. 4 mainsails would be good. It would be a little less efficient, um, but I think it all balance out. Also, are these? They didn't go right. Hmm. So anyway, we're gonna keep working on the pike lifter here. Let's get rid of these. These didn't look like they were done right. Let's go and compactify that. And adding the mainsail should be pretty easy. 
Compactify and simplificate? Exactly. Is that the words you're looking for? Mm -hmm. They're pretty good words. Engines are in the engine section, Jimmy. Uh, uh, you, you could be right there. Yeah, I might be right. Oh, what the heck did I just do? There we go. So yeah, now we're talking about the the right thrust. Now we're now we're sitting at 1.5, starting thrust to weight. And that's what we want. 1.5 or between 1.6. And 1.5 is where I like to build my rockets. Um, yeah. Nice. So, but we're going to need to add more fuel because we've done a thing. Uh, it's 14. You've done a bad, bad thing? Ah, I did a thing. It's a, it's a good... It's a thing. It's a, good, it's a thing. It's also a good song. Now at 1.4. Bring these in. Yeah. I think... I think we got a rocket here. Um, got a rocket, Jimmy? Yeah, let's... Uh, go ahead and save a sub-assembly here. Pike. Lifter. Pike one. Lifter. With a seventeen ton to LKO. There we go. And I like how it doesn't get rid of the thing when you make a sub assembly. I definitely like that. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a bit bit of a hive now, which is nice. So now I'm thinking about designing a relay system that we could launch all in one go. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting to do, but if we can build it for 17 tons or under, that would be a good thing. Hey, Flyboy hey. Gus, how's it going? against Delta Radiation. Oh, yeah, isn't that how Pike in the series, he, like, got messed up because of Delta Radiation, or he died? Or... Which Pike are we talking about? Are we talking about the reboot Pike or the original Pike? The one that was in the wheelchair eventually. And he had the little thing that just beeped, which was very... very concerning. Um, mm, the, the, the beeping was a bit weird. Yeah. It's like one beep for yes and two beeps for no. It's like you're living in the future and he's got a thing on a well, maybe it wasn't that. But it looked very medieval <laughs> for for Star Trek. Um anyway, let's uh Let's go ahead and s I don't actually want to save that at all. Um so let's go ahead and go to new. So I could do one of two things here. I can make this entirely uh, remote controlled. Or I could bring Kerbals up with it. And basically add boosters to give it the extra Delta B. Bringing Kerbals up is kind of more what I want to do, honestly, because it's just more interesting, more fun. Later, funny man. Oh, the original Pike. Okay. But if we launch everything in one go, it might be better. Let's let's just go ahead and design our um, our relay system first before we before we do anything about it. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and give it like the lowest mass possible. So I think that's the least amount of mass. And let's just start attaching parts and see what we like. We want two of those for redundancy. 
three of these, I think. One for each moon, and one pointed at the active vessel. And a whole crap ton of batteries, I think. And solar panels. Let's not forget solar panels. You know what I need to install? I need to install a uh, fuse box. I just need to install fuse box. Fuse box? Yeah, it basically tells you how much power that your uh, craft will use. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that would, be, that would be that would actually be very useful. Try to keep the mass as low as possible. Also, I didn't add a self-destruct to my previous rocket. I'm gonna need to do that. Could be an option. Because I do have the mod installed. If I'm not gonna use the mod, I'll uninstall it. There's a little babby solar panels. There we go. Really, this thing just kind of ends up being just a giant battery bank. <laughs> And, uh, some antenna and solar panels attached. Honestly, I think I only need two sets of solar panels there. So, it'd be cool if we could launch six of these all at the same time. Could you help? Just use the procedural parts battery? Nah, I, these batteries are small enough that I don't really feel like I need to do that. Because we, we know absolutely what these batteries are. I like to use procedural parts for fuel tanks and structural parts. Because sometimes those can be a little, you know... Getting the right tank. It's kind of annoying. That's just me. So two of those. So I don't even remember what the delta V is for. Oh wait, 12 hour geosync. sync. Alright, so it's 17 and at 15 kilometers because I like to put these in geosynchronous orbit I don't have to I really don't have to but I like to uh, so it needs about 1034 delta V 1544 I think that's the right geosync Sounds, sounds <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just rambling numbers right now, trying to remember what was what. I seem to recall this thing before. You've built this thing before, haven't you? Where you have like 11 million batteries and it, <laughs> it's just kind of the way it has to be, really. Um, well, you could use procedural batteries, but I feel like the, the stack of Duracell batteries are the way to go, really. Let's be honest. It looks legit. Why have one battery when you can have like five of them? It's good. Okay, that's way too much fuel. <clears throat> and way too much thrust. 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 Yeah. Um, roll your ass. You gotta roll your ass. Thrust. Okay. Uh, 30. Too much thrust. We might go for the. What about the ant? The ant engine, yeah, the LV-1. Mmm. Is good. Yeah, I'll probably use a procedural tank because we only need so much. Should 
Shimmy's thinking quest. Okay. Uh. Shimmy's ponder quest. What should we ponder today, children? He puzzled and puzzled until his puzzler was sore. Yeah. I, I, uh, Twitch alert seems to be a good thing, Jimmy. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I like it. The twitchalerts.com. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's like got it. cool text animations. Yeah, it's... and the text pops out quite nice, too. Yeah. It looks, looks a bit clearer. Speaking yeah. of which, thanks for following Throne, and, and, the, and the website actually updates pretty darn quickly. When somebody follows, I see it on the website immediately. So I don't have to worry yeah. about, it's like, oh, is it going to be there? Oh, it's going to be there. Sorry, we're just talking. We're just talking shop here. Talking shop. What do you think would be a good idea? Like, have each of the of the um, satellites do the full burn like from low curve in orbit up to geosync and circularize or should I get something that pushes all of them into GTO and then they just circularize um see I'd like you to strap a bunch of these in a payload bay and then just drop them <laughs> just drop them don't don't even just use them drop. just drop them well because what you could do is attach these radially. Oh, I suppose they're two. Well, you could fit them inside a procedural fairing and just release them. Release them! <laughs> just, you know, release and just have a lot less fuel. Uh, and just have enough to basically tweak their position. But you could just get into orbit and then you just basically release them one by one, roughly where you need them, and then just tweak their orbits. And you could do it in one launch and just put lots of them. Like put fifteen in a payload bay and away you go. See, you're thinking about it. I'm just thinking about numbers and Yeah, but it you're thinking about it. Yeah. I have a bad influence. Stop listening to me. How much do I need? There we go. <clears throat> Look at it, so cute as Babby. It's Babby. I think we'll just go and launch a bunch of these. And we'll, we'll create a stage that kind of launches them all at the same time. Put some struts on here for stylized reasons. Broadcasting. Oh, so thanks for the follows, guys. Whoever you are. <laughs> Zogs is now following. What? Also, Desoldner and Joe Be Gone. Welcome to the quest. Do appreciate your follows. Yeah, I like that tank. It looks better now. What's it so bitter about? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I know you don't like it when I make fun of your accent, but... <laughs> you... Yeah, I totally misunderstood. <laughs> release! Release that! <laughs> Have you not heard Montgomery Burns say... Yeah, no, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. No, 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 it's, I mean chat. I'm oh. Yeah, Reform Robotics is their foldable bits. That is true. <clears throat> so now we just need to go ahead and launch a bunch of these. Um, in a way that is conducive for space things. You must space! Do you ever do decoupler launches? Yes, we used to. <laughs> 
Yes. Or you just like stack a whole bunch of decouplers on top of each other, and then boom, you're yeah. going to Duna already. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. If not complete. <laughs> Although I don't actually know if far would be even worse because it would you would get that nice fact that you don't have the soupy atmosphere anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Dead Entry would probably destroy everything you ever hoped to dream for, so. Yes. Alright, so we need to go ahead and change the root part. Bam! Look at that. All this work easily taken care of. Yeah, it, see, you can put four of them on there, but if you go for a procedural fairing, you could put more than four. Procedural fairing, smedural fairing. But why can you have, why, why have four when you can have much more? Although that does look quite good. The problem is you've then got a, you got far and the whole needing to cope with the aerodynamics of it well i still have a problem with um these solar panels yeah. yeah but with gizmos i can fix everything yes or, or you could yes procedural wearing well these things were kind of clipping into each other and i don't want that yeah He puzzled and he puzzled until his puzzler was sore. <laughs> Somebody said, and Shimmy's rocket grew three times that day. You better yeah. believe it. <laughs> it probably uh, did. It's funny. And all I wanted to do was go to the moon. It was bigger than the VAB. Strut all the things. Alrighty. Strut. Strut your stuff. Wow, this will barely work. This will barely work. Uh, I might want to... Change this around a bit. Maybe if I rotate it. Oops. Like that. Oh, that is perfect. We got it. You got it? You got it good? Yeah, we got it. Uh, now we just need to go ahead and push this thing out to Geo. GTO, actually. Um. Go ahead and put a regular tank on this thing. Give it a... Probably not a poodle. We'll just give it a, a T-45. You should just put a nose cone on top as well. You could just kind of... Mass 14. What is this stage? 3,000, really? Stage two. Yeah, all right. No, this is plenty. With plenty of plenty, Delta V. Plenty good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we just need to put a fairing on it, and I think we'll be good. Am I forgetting anything here? Uh, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. No, that's the right. The delta V is being calculated. Okay, alrighty. It's like way too much. Um, that's fine. We can push that out there for seventeen twenty. Let's go ahead and put a procedural fairing thing around it. Got the batteries. 
Why did John Casual high five me? I didn't. I didn't high five you. High five. Ah, uh, sorry, I missed. Uh, hey, Nubius. High five, Venus. Hey, Nubius. How's it going, Nubius? You said like hello like ten minutes ago. I'm missing all <laughs> these messages today. I'm totally not here in chat. I'm here in the game, yeah. thinking about life, the universe, and everything. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and put this here. We've got a weird looking fairing thing going on with her life. There we go. But yeah, we can put this on the rocket. And that will be a good thing. So this will be QLS 101. QLS 101. The quest li launch system? Quest lift system? Probe core on the transfer stage. Probably won't need it, um, but we will need antenna. Or at least a reflectotron to reflect our trons. Go ahead and put two of them on there. All of the trons must be reflected. Yes. I will reflect on my trons. And we'll go and grab the set assembly, the Pike 1 lifter. Rated for 17, or only lifting Broadcasting. 14. Thanks for following, Nate Dog. Is that, what was the guy's name from Fallout? Something dog, and he's like, Ow! oh, um, yeah, um, three dog, three dog. Because why well, have one dog when you can have three, right? Is that what he says? And, and it's it's three dog, and it's not three dogs, plural. It's singular, so it is three dog. I don't understand it either. I'm guessing the guy that voiced it probably went, "The hell are you guys doing?" As well, I should imagine, because like. I'm I'm trying to do the right thing and yet I'm sucking at it from a naming point of view. Alrighty. I've got a rocket. And stuff that's going to orbit. Uh but the staging is incorrect because it's Kerbal Space Program. Sorry. You have insufficient staging. You require more Delta V. Oh. Construct additional launch towns. I want multiple launch sites. Yeah, well, you have multiple launch sites. Yeah, but no, like, in the same area. Because, you know, oh. like... Yeah, more runways, more launch pads in one spot. Yes, please. That would be a good thing. Like, having a runway that's, like, inclined, that is angled, like, 20 or 30 degrees or something off north-south would be nice. For those occasional really weird orbits that you do and deorbiting and having to line up and stuff and things. The screen's lagging, but the beard is in full glorious HD. <laughs> it's out, uh, Shimmy. It is good to know that you have a high definition beard and not a low definition. What am I doing? I'm trying. I I'm trying to get rid of this whole thing with the um, with the fairings popping off because I want to make sure that I don't have extra debris in orbit. So You've if got I, debris. If I use fuselages, I don't have that. But then I have to worry about decoupling everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, let me just go ahead and take this off. I'm trying to figure this out. And then. Bring the extra height down. Bring the height back up again. And then we'll add a stack decoupler under here. And add this there. Okay. I think we're I think we're going somewhere. And since I don't have Ah, oh, this is nice. Now I don't have to worry about like the green glue attaching to the wrong thing because I don't have to have um, the uh, part clipping enabled because it's already enabled but it doesn't add the extra the glue, the glue balls nice okay 
There we go, so that should pop out of that. Looking good. We will now... Put some extra struts in here. And where is this stack decoupler? Uh, thankfully we got the part highlighting now. It's like easier to figure out where everything is. So you don't have to go looking inside the vessel to figure out what is what. Seeing, so oh, highlight, okay, well there we go. What's the mission? We're launching our first array of relay sets on a highly experimental launch vehicle. What is the hotkey? It's it's X. I was like, what? Okay. Here we go. So this is QLS 101. Okay, so I don't know what to name these these satellites. I think you need to ask chat what they yeah, should name they them. Don't, they'll, they'll probably come up with something dumb. Well, I'll come up with something. Let me just insult chat. Let's insult chat. That'll that'll go well. The rocket looks weird. Yeah, it does look weird. But what can you do? Rockets look the way they do. Yeah. Just just like when you try to show a docking maneuver with a space shuttle and a taco truck, people get all hmm. get all a little bit excited. Oh, really. Bye. Launch. Build the vessel. Exit. Ah, KSP stopped working. It crashed. Oh no. It's giving me the option to debug? Really? Hmm. That's wow. Weird. That's unfortunate. Alright. That's still a thing. So I'm just loading the game again. Bear with me here. Call them, whatever. We call them set one, two, three. That's boring. Chinaware. Yes. Is that is that Edel doing that? Is that Edel doing that again? <laughs> Edel has these really descriptive names like Comset One and stuff. So whenever I ask for a name, he comes up with these very logical names, and I'm like, why? Be creative. Yeah, I don't know what the arrow was. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, no. That's just a weird error. It might have been a mod causing a crash, because I don't have a crash report here. It wasn't an out-of-memory error. Tell us more about these background images. Well, we're, what we're looking at right now is a space shuttle, and it was docking the mirror. This is the SpaceX... Falcon 9 1.1 with landing legs attached just in the back there. You can see the very beautiful Merlin 1D engines. Beautiful looking engines. They are very nice engines. Yes, they definitely, they're definitely a commercial company because they like to make things look nice. Why do something when you can do something in yeah. style? This is the International Space Station uh, when it was in construction. Uh, looks like it only had the one truss uh, attached in the, on top of the, uh, the initial Z, Z0 truss or whatever. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the game. It doesn't take long to load the game at this point. So, Start the game. Resume saved. We will see... Um, I'll just wait for you to... Yep, cool, cool. Do you have a gallery of these images you can see? Well, if <laughs> I peer can spell wallpapers. Uh, Kerbal construction time. Launch pad reconditioning. EV.
What did I name my missions before? My satellites before. They were something like... Something... What did I name them? Just KCS2? ComSat? Um, KCS4? Kerbal Communication System? Something kinda, like that. It's kind of boring. You could call them after, like, Fred, Tom. <laughs> um, ma um, Mariner the Raccoon is suggesting Thor, Loki, Odin, Freya. Oceans 1 through 11. <laughs> now that's clever. I like that. Now we need to roll out. Jeez, how many times do I need the, the time warp things here? What do I need my other things? I kind of... Minus reconnaissance. Centauri. MIRS. Minus relay. Curve and relay. KRS. Call them the curves. Curve and relay sat. Well, that's an option, I guess. Is yeah, SpaceX owned by the dude who owns Tesla? I won't say owned, but um, uh, yeah, he is a major. He's a he is a founder in both. That's uh, Elon Musk. Lunch, <laughs> taco burrito, enchilada, and fajita. <laughs> There you go. Digital taco pigeon. <laughs> All right. We got a rocket here preparing for liftoff. This is the Pike 1 lifter carrying the the Kerbin relay sat network into orbit hopefully. Preparing for liftoff in 5 4 3 2 one and lift off of QLS 101 the first relay sat network into orbit to allow us to do further stuff and things into orbit man we need EJ here he needs to do the thing he's really good at that also let's yeah the whole mission the whole mission operations yeah. dude thing he does that very well so we need to come on control from here. There we go. I'm getting pitch maneuver. Whoa. Oh. Joint between reflectotron. Due to aerodynamic stresses, really? Really? Did you... Oh, did you have a break? Interesting. Uh. Oh, was was the things inside the um yeah, they fairing were. strata? The thing is, is I have far. It shouldn't even do that, even if it was going to do that. Yeah. Or was that deadly reentry? Might have been deadly reentry. What? Well, that's not normal, so I shouldn't be doing that. It's the ones that were in the shielded area. Ah, bother. Okay, we'll go ahead and attach them in the other place. Yeah. Also, we don't have... Oh, great. This thing is going to, like, land on the VAB. That's great. I didn't even go that direction. That's handy. Really? Isn't it? <laughs> well, that's, that's a thing, really, isn't it? 
Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. <sighs> Going down. Abandoned ship. Wait, where are the kerbals? There's no kerbals. Oh, that's right. There's, there's no kerbals. That's right. It's just... Oh, they break up. QLS 102. <laughs> <Save>. <laughs> oh, Don't oh. worry, there might be a 103 at this rate. It's all good. Is shielded false? Well, you jerk face. Oh my gosh. All right, let's um. You know what? Is shielded false? Why is that? You have failed me for the last time. These things, but the thing is that they're always on, so they shouldn't have to do that, but I guess. Yeah. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. Yeah, wrestle. Yeah. Welcome to KSP, dude. Something isn't right here. It's not. This would have been fine previously, the way I have it set up now. It's not a real fairing. It says a shimmy fairing, though. We'll go ahead and take... It's a fuselage. Don't tell me. Oh, has it done something very strange, dude? <sighs> that sounds weird. Oh, what is it connected to? No, it's connected... Let's go ahead and take it one is of my fairings. Yeah, just check that it's not connected to something other than the procedural fairing base. Maybe it's considering it a fuselage if it's connected somewhere weird. I don't know, it seems a bit odd. Oh my gosh, it's because one was a fuselage and the other one was a oh, fairing. Oh, yeah, that would have done it. Oh, wow. They need to fix that okay. because it, a fuselage should have the exact same properties as a, as a fairing. Except it doesn't have a decoupler. They don't. They're different, I think. I think it classes them differently. Because well, remember, fairing will, it fair, a fairing will have to. a different... Right? Theoretically, a fairing will have a different coefficient, potentially. No, it, uh, yeah, you're right. From a simplicity point of view, it should be the same. You're quite right. Yeah. 
because normally if you've got all one I, or two of them, all I did was just change which, whichever one it was and yeah that's what fixed I, it yeah it, it wouldn't really matter which of the one it went with it's the fact that they're not the same they're not identical so they're not effectively a mirror and maybe that's what caused some sort of weird stressing or something and of course deadly wrench would then up and grab your rocket and bust it somewhat The joys of weird physics and KSP. Even if it does mean you have to do really derpy things sometimes to make things fly. Alright, so, uh, I think you got that ready. If you hadn't caught it, also I did add the, the self-destruct module to this thing. So I should be able to activate the self-destruct and the spacecraft should explode. And that would actually, you know, this thing could have collided with the VAB. I do play sandbox, but I'd like to. I'd like to pretend that I don't want that stuff to happen. So I would have hit abort, and it would have deleted. You know, um, it would have uh, exploded it before it landed. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and, along with that, on the abort, let's go ahead and turn off all these engines, shut down engines, save. There we go. And we'll go ahead and resave the sub assembly. <clears throat> There we go. Save. Let's go ahead and do a simulation. I want to make sure that these, um, that this, the self-destruct system still works. Nice. Will I be able to do that with no comms? Uh, I don't know what you mean, like, um, self-destruct or the setting up the com uh, array network because setting up the com array network is it, it does take a little bit but you can it's definitely possible all right so this is just a simulation here so if like oh no we went and pointed in the wrong direction now it's gonna go ahead and crash into all of our everything no it's not because we're going to explode it before it hits us. Hopefully. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well. Uh, what? 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 It doesn't like whatever you've done. It didn't, it doesn't like it didn't explode it fast enough. Was the problem? No. I need to put more on the thing. I think. Normal. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. You're trying to do the self destruct, and the self destruct's not destructing self properly. Is that? Where are we going with this? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and take that self destruct button and add it to multiple places of the vessel. I think that's how you get it to explode everything, because it started all the way at the top, and I think if I attach everything... Um, well, if you start at the bottom, it should actually just... Because it'll everything will stop. Mm. Okay. Alright, so... <laughs> Let's try it again. That was just a simulation, by the way. Self-destruct. Self-destruct. Shut down engine. <laughs> Alright. 
save. And we'll go ahead and resave this as a subassembly. Let's try that again. <laughs> the self destruct I self destructed the VAB is what I did. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and test this out now. Let's make sure we control. I wish there was a control from here, action group. Yeah, I wish there was a lot of things in action group, but. See, we've got three of them. You'll see. No, it starts from the root part. Oh, wait. Okay. No, it all... Everything exploded, which is great. So, yeah. Yeah, we did it right. The particle effects started from the top, but it destroyed everything quicker. Two, one, shazam. Oh, yes. Also, we need to set that so it's an immediate ex explosion. Or at least well, one yeah, the, second. Yeah, the, the delay is a bit. It's like, I want to destruct now. No, please hold three seconds. <laughs> please Your hold. destruction <laughs> is important to us. Yeah. You are first in the queue. <laughs> what? I pressed the button. You go boom now. Honestly, what the hell? Uh, staging. There we go. Yeah, a one second delay is really all I want. because it ensures that if the abort function that pulls Kerbals away from this thing is going to happen before it starts self-destructing. So, save. Let's try that one more time. Simulate. Where did I get that self-destruct mod? It's called TAC Self-Destruct. T-A-C Self-Destruct. It's one of the many mods that Tyrannus Elsu does. He does TAC Life Support. Attack self destruct, attack fuel bouncer. Great mods. Great mods. Alright, let's control from the right place now. Control from here? There we go. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's definitely reasonable to real life. It's not like we're putting a nuclear warhead in this thing to destroy the, the rocket. We just need to make sure that it uh that it goes poof before it hits something. Texture management settings? Uh I've got a few different mods if you want to go and take a look at my mod list. Alright, let's go into vertical vehicle assembly building. Go ahead and actually make this thing so there's this QLS 2 or uh, sorry 102 QLS 102 so we'll go ahead and save launch build the vessel exit does the sack the, the, the sack the tack well you need you need something to control the vessel in order to activate it so nice yeah yeah what is this oh toaster Wow, that's clever. <laughs> the Kerbal pops out too. Jebediah. Jebediah.
All right. So, um, yeah, do the thing. What's the thing? It is Kerbal Construction Time. Maybe. Yeah, Aunt Man Manter, Eddie. I can't even words. Sorry, what? 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 I thought I. I didn't warp to it. Well, I'm testing out explodey things, no, I owe. It's a very. It's a very important part of this balanced rocket breakfast. Now, not only do we've waited for launch pad reconditioning, we've built the rocket, now we're gonna need to roll it out. Broadcasting. Thanks for follow, T. Freiburg. Welcome to the quest. Okay. Put this on the launch pad. Very nice. Carry on. I believe in you, Jimmy. Move along. Move along. Move along. Move along. I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> Good luck. We're all counting on you. I think they just added a, just another thing you have to wait for because you're like, all right, I get it. It takes time. Now I really don't want to fail this mission because this is this is real right here. No Kerbals are riding on this, but I just don't want this thing to fail because I don't have to wait for all those buttons to click on again. Alrighty, so it looks like we've got avionics set up properly. Uh, our throttle is at maximum. Our payloads are securely in their bay. Uh, I believe we have the antenna set properly. I think we're ready to go. Lifting off in five, four, three, two, one. And lift off of QLS. Oh, we got the, uh, I need to turn off time delay. I don't even have that on. No, wait, is it on? No, it's, it's off, I think. Anyway, lift off of QLS is one, zero, two. Taking up the Kerbal, the Kerbin Relay Sat Network into orbit. Vehicle is already 200 meters a second in velocity, 3,800, 4 kilometers in altitude. has a whole another 90 seconds of boost in the lower stage before it separates and activates its upper stage. Looking good, Jim. Looking good. If it was off, it would say connected. Oh, okay. I'll have to fix that then. Because <clears throat> relay... Because uh, uh, signal delay is, is, is definitely a cool game mechanic, but I don't think it makes for good streaming. Especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff at Duna. Um, you know, waiting for burns to happen, then time warping, then sending a command and time warping. Yeah. Please hold your time warp. It's important to us. Hey, you're first to make you. Joshua Felton, how's it going? What kind of engines am I using? I'm using the... Rocket Max main sail engines four times. The vacuum rated main sail engines. The vacuum rated main sail engines. <laughs> so we have a solid scent here. We are 49 seconds before Miko. Set and activation of upper engine. 
be using a mainsail for the upper stage too. Mm, girl. Dude, Dot Job Master donated nine dollars and ninety six cents. I'll go ahead nice. and read that in a second. Uh hang on. If I can I I wanna read it. He sent me a message. Ah I, okay. I'm waiting for it to show. I'm waiting. Oh, you got it. About to head off to bed, but I thought I'd send you some spare cash that's floating around and return for another great stream. I'm in a good mood. Just recovered from a nasty cold. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that. You're too kind. I do really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Donations rolling in, Jimmy. You'll be, you'll be able to buy tacos for years. Yes. Fantastic. It's a very important and noble tradition. The honorable tra tradition of taco acquisition. Destruction? Yes. The rules of taco acquisition. Acquisition. <laughs> Shimmy, you have to write the rules of taco a acquisition. I think that is now a thing. It has to happen. Get, I have to say on. that I, the Ferengi, it, it, as, as kind of, I wouldn't say cliche they were, but kind of, you know, sleazy or just kind of, you know, what they were, I they were... My funny as hell. Yeah, they were great. They yeah. were funny. They're were, they were funny, but not in a bad way. Not like huh. a just a silly comic relief. They were great. Yeah, they weren't just Ewoks. I think that's the thing. Oh yeah, they weren't just Ewoks. Exactly. They ha they had this culture that was that was well defined, you know. And you got to it's like oh, she's wearing clothes, and they're you know yeah. just the opposite. Of them just the the. <laughs> Yeah, because females the indignants in the hall. Yes, weren't allowed to wear clothes in their society. So when they wore clothes, it was like something that was like really, you know, in rude. Front. And, you know, it's very inappropriate. So like, oh, I gotta avert my eyes because she's wearing clothes. That show. That was a good show. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? Rules of taco acquisition. The rules of taco acquisition. I feel like this is a thing, Jimmy. I, f I feel like it needs to happen now. Everything is vacuum rated if you believe Delta yep. V's. Everything. Hey, hello, Lucky Hit. How's it going? I'm a taco... taco... tacoologist. Taco... taco... tacoologist? Tacoologist. Yeah, it's like... it's that's like, um... <laughs> Matter like matter <laughs> yeah. uh, the L. Every time I see his name, it's Matoro. like it's that uppercase I. Matoro Ignica. Ignica. Matoro Ignica. There it's you fine. Go. But whenever I read it, it's like Matoro. Where does the L come from? Why yes. brain? Why brain? Do you have to show that? But no, it puts it in there, and it just my brain doesn't like it. My it's brain. My brain. Have I tried Buzz Aldrin's space program manager? No, I haven't. But it looks definitely it definitely looks interesting. Um, you know, maybe sometime in the future. Could try that. I want to say Buzz Aldrin's space program mangler because I can't I can't say the word manager without thinking of the word mangler. And it, you know, because remember Windows had the program manager. Yeah. Program mangler. Uh, I don't know. Metrolol Metrololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
Also, Teflon Mike. Did you just get here? Yeah, you probably just got here. What's up, Tef? What's going on, buddy? How you doing? All right, so we've got a bunch of batteries. Uh, hmm. Might have noticed, might have crit, might have a slight flaw in my design here. Oh? The panels are like, ah, no, they'll be okay. <laughs> what could possibly go what wrong? What could possibly go wrong? They're just in a completely wrong place, and they look all weird. Uh, let's go ahead and circularize now instead of later before we lose connection. Sounds legit. All right. We are circularized at 152 kilometers above the surface, looking great. Um, on the next pass around, or maybe a few passes, uh, we will wait. We will go ahead and send our spacecraft up to the GTO altitude, which is 15 kilometers. Well, and 15 should not kilometers. be uh, yep, and should not be confused with the GTFO <laughs> altitude. <laughs> Because that's a very <laughs> different altitude. That's, Just make, making sure that people understand. That's funny. That's 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 yeah. funny. Uh, oh, also we have no connection, so it's a good thing I, I did that right there. <clears throat> Mater rhymes with potato. Yep. I don't know what Mater is, Mayor of Space. Uh, we don't have... Give us communication. I kind of realized it was probably a dumb idea of launching this thing at night because of reasons. Uh, also, maybe reasons too. Uh, reasons, reasons, they're all the same. They're all the same. This thing has a lot of roll capability to it. Roll program! V1. Rotate. I don't even know what that means. I guess every single time I do a flight simulator, it says that. Um. It is... A thing. <laughs> no, it's... It is, um, Amazing. V1 is the velocity that you are going that you can no longer stop on the runway that you are on. So V1 is basically part, past the point of no return. So at V1, you are um, committed to lifting the nose of the craft off the ground. You have to get airborne. Because if you put the brakes on, you're going to come off the runway and probably smash into stuff. Hmm. Uh, rotate, obviously, is fairly obvious. That is when the pilot is basically advising the crew that he is uh, going to pull the, the nose of the craft up and thus it is rotating. And thus it is written that it shall be rotating. Correct. Alright. Like so, somebody was asking me why my why my planet has chicken pox. Those are all remote tech relay stations. That's what they are. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, separate... <laughs> And tell this Make thing it happen. to return back home. Got 391 delta V. Whoa, no connection. I already uh -oh. ran out of electric charge. Oh, I needed to oh, add batteries no. to this thing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, bro. Oh, there goes that. Yeah, that's what happens when you put four SAS wheels and, uh... Yeah, and no batteries. And no batteries. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. Also, this thing does not, like, have any sort of SAS wheel on it. And that's another design flaw of this. So sorry I did that. 
Hey, Manthrope! How long you been here? Got on a fish we got a unofficial EJ ride? Hello, EJ peeps. Just stop! We will never stop. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and accelerate till our apoapsis reaches roughly fifteen thousand kilometers or fifteen megameters. Specifically fifteen point one four four five zero zero. <clears throat> Shamu the sh what? What? <laughs> hey friends, how's it going? We're having an interesting time. We're having a fun time. Yeah. So sort of. Yo, best stream ever. Thank you. The best streams are the ones with the most explosions. I am hungry for a taco or two. I have an addiction. But it is a good addiction. Don't knock it. It's good. Also, why am I pointing retrograde? Uh, well, <laughs> well, it's complicated. <laughs> when a mummy rocket and a dad. Actually, no, that's a different conversation, isn't it? I don't know. What if, for whatever reason, I was. Pointed retrograde. Just blame the sass, Jimmy. Blame the sass. Shimmy Thulu, what? Taco Fridays? It's taco every day, honestly. I did go to I did go to Chipotle the other day though. Got like nice. a massive burrito bowl. Oh. For those of you who've been to Chipotle, you should know what I'm talking about. Is it 15144, I think? Yeah, 15144. Let's go ahead and bring us down. Thrust number two. Six. Yeah, I got an AVE config. Uh, I got it from Mid-Anthrope, so if you want to know what, what the deal with that is, bug him. Because I don't even know. I just got it from, from Mid-Anthrope. Eh, close enough. Alright, so, um, we are <clears throat> sending, we're out on a trajectory here, um, that is GTO, Geostationary Transfer Orbit Trajectory. We're looking good. Thing is, when we get there, we might not have communication. It's hard to say. We will see. I think we will. We absolutely will. Broadcasting. Thanks for follow RKHVTC. Welcome to the quest. I do have this thing that set like if people have like obscene names or anything, it like filters it out. So I don't know if the, that's yeah. a real name or not. Thanks for following Jeffy. Sunpy, welcome to the quest. All right, we are three minutes and some odd seconds from uh, Apoapsis here. And we have like barely any sort of roll authority. Um, the combined roll of all these are minuscule. Maybe we don't even have it, are we still? Uh, We won't try to roll the entire thing. We will go ahead and activate the antenna here for relay purposes. And decouple this one. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh? Uh-oh. Extend panels. Extend panels. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of bad. 
It's a good kind of bad, or it's just a no, kind of bad? No, it's just a kind of bad. Like, I don't know if it's rotating because I told it to, or if it's just bad. <laughs> this has no roll authority on it, so this might be kind of interesting. Be problematic. Maybe it's kind of magic. No. What's the furthest you can go in KSP? Pretty darn far, but there's not really anything out there. How to get those relay stations? Um, it was a config file for one of the versions of 64K or 6.4 um, KSP. Broadcasting. Maybe this thing doesn't have... No, it says... It doesn't have a reaction wheel. The little ba little babby ones don't have reaction wheels. Well, that... That was a bad thing to do. There's no way for me to rotate this thing. It's stuck like this. It's stuck! Oh, neat! Oh, no! Why can't you... Ro oh, why? Because the little tiny things don't have reaction wheels, evidently. Yeah. Mm. I'm I'm at full fizz warp and I don't have anything here. Yeah. Are really. oh, well, I wanted to save on mass, but you know. Hmm. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Yeah, it's not optimal, really, is it? Yeah, just a reminder, I've got Coffee online, online with me. Uh, Coffee is a streamer of KSB and many other things. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out his channel. I believe it got linked in chat here earlier, but let's go ahead and link him again. Streamer. Coffee. There you go. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You learned that the hard way, too. Ah. Well, if Jason can make the mistake, then I guess I can make the mistake. Yeah. Because he is Jason. Yes. And don't feel so bad if Jason made the same mistake. It's fine. Yeah, I just automatically put SAS on vehicles that have pro parts. Now, I have for a while, actually. Because quite often I end up with something that's got a bit of weight, and so I sort of automatically If do it that. had a reaction wheel, it would give me the option to remove the reaction wheel, like turn it off, yes, right? Yes, it would. I did the lowest bidder again. Yeah, I know, right? Also, Twig Boys 26 and the Sandman 21. Thank you for following. It's very kind. Thanks for following coffee. I know that because I'm testing Pupulets in ah! the background. <laughs> bang, bing, bong! <laughs> I'm going, wait, what? Oh, I see. So it's working. I know it's working now. Even though I'm, because I'm pressing a test button and suddenly it's like, that's not what I did. Oh, oh. My brain, it doesn't work so good. Broadcasting. Thanks for following nice shiny follow banner. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think and that's probably a, a getting... rename to count. Also, thanks for following getting bleeped in the bloop. <laughs> Let me go ahead and double check that. What? Is that a real name? Getting bleeped in the in the bloop. <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> getting bleeped in the bloop. Um, I'm guessing no. I think that name has probably been adjusted. Well, it would say it in, in, in the... What is it saying in, in the dashboard? In the dashboard, it says the same thing, so I don't know. Okay, well, that's probably alright then. That's funny. I got most of my mods from Curse. But the thing is, is like, I check the forum first. I always check the forum first. Hello, Space Ghost. B double P apparently followed as well. Thank you. I 
feel weird saying that on your channel, but I feel like I should thank people. So. Oh, dude, totally. Totally do it. It kind of invalidates me giving you the giving you the shout out because it feels like I've it actually is work helping. So yeah. No, totally. Also I'm getting that weird duplication bug in remote tech where it's like creating multiple copies of things. Yeah, are you getting that again? Because didn't you have like twin T satellites yeah. at one point? It's just like the same thing. Yeah. And it's like I launched this way, why do I have so many? Oh look at that. That's that. quite nice, because you could use that to like duplicate shuttles and things really, couldn't you? Yeah, I don't know if that's I... just a, an interface bug or if that's something else. Um, map view, my, well, from the mission control, if they're all able to communicate, you'll know if you've got duplicated things, because suddenly you'll have 12 copies of the same ship. That little engine that could. Yeah, Shimmy is 100% correct. Go to the forum, read the thing. It's always important to read the thing, yep. then go do the download. Um, because the forum is also the place you can go, oh look, there's this known issue, and if I do X and Y, it doesn't happen, so that I don't install the thing and go, Rage Face is not working, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, there's a sentence that just fixes it for you, and if you just read it, it's all good. All right, so I got that all set up. So what are we gonna name this? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. Let's name the curs. <clears throat> curs one. Sounds good. Looks like we got solid. Electric charge, that's good. Let me switch to the other one here. Why new save file? Because the other one just... There's just no way of me recovering it. Not really anything I can do about that. All right, so this time, I'm gonna try and flip myself around. using the gimbling of this engine. Potato pockets? What is a potato pocket? I don't know. Uh, it sounds like it could be like Maybe they're referring to, like, baked potatoes? I don't know whether you've seen those before. It's, it's, I think it's a New Zealand thing, but... It's baked potato, and it's got sour cream and chives and bits of bacon and, also, and all sorts of t tasty things in it, and I'm trying to remember. Um, <laughs> Isn't that just a potato? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it's it is it is it is a very tasty potato. That's the thing. <laughs> you always enjoy watching my stream. I know I watt my stream all the time too. One point twenty one gigawatts. <laughs> I saw that earlier and I had to share that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Gigawatt. Gigawatt. All right. Just a very slow and deliberate rotation here. I'm like hitting the keyboard like it's actually gonna do anything. It's not. But I will use streamer's prerogative 100% here. <laughs> that makes five, five, <laughs> 1500 watt power supplies. Uh, 
Uh oh. And so here's what I'm what I've done. Basically, the next time when I when this comes up to Apoapsis, it's going to be pointing in roughly a prograde direction, so I'll still be able to launch this. The reason why that thing flipped around is just because of the way that the physics work. Um, which is probably not going to do that again. Also, hopefully... This will... Who knows? I don't know. Okay, oh, we're not even pointing in the right direction. Oh, wait. It wants to rotate in a weird direction because it's off-center. How do I... I can't really fix that, can I? Uh, what the... huh? Uh, I'm trying to work out what you're trying to... Well, the problem is, is I'm trying to get this thing to, like, stabilize, and it won't. No... Because it's off center mess. Yeah... I'm an idiot! Hey... I'm, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I'm being asked to explain how tomato soup works. Tomato! <coughs> uh, I don't understand the question. Hey, handbasket, how's it going? Thing won't roll, it won't do anything. Alright, we're just gonna have to, like, a janky satellite network. We'll have to replace them later. Oh! I hit spacebar when I shouldn't have hit spacebar. Oops. Oh, did you have a st staging? Yeah, I had a situation oh, here. A si you got a situation brewing. Yeah. Staging. Yeah, you would have probably wanted to release one yeah. by one. One by one. Well, that's one option, I suppose. <laughs> this mission is going nominally. Uh, very abnominally. Alright, well this thing is stuck in this position. Um, we're just going to have to burn slightly inclined, and I'll just have to do... Burn should take three minutes and some odd seconds. Be stuck here. Oh no. Super dude wants to buy my chair. How much you want to buy it for? I 
I think your chair wants to say, oh shit, me, what's going on? <laughs> well, depends. It depends on how much they're... How much they want to spend. Are, are you saying that the, sh the chair actually has a price? Everything has a price. I suppose that's true, but still. Shut up. Really? The chair has a price? You wouldn't... You would actually consider letting it go. Mike, why do you, why do you need to ask that? What, Mike? I, that's... I haven't eaten anything. If you really want to know, I haven't eaten anything. This moment of shimmy is brought to you by tacos. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird... Or is it really weird? You have some really weird followers, dude. Like, yeah. I thought I had some weird people, but you really have some weird... The good... Don't get me wrong. It's good... Kind of weird? But... It's also still very weird. I hope this thing is actually kind of normalizing now somehow. It's like moving in a weird direction here. Also, yeah, keep it classy. You don't remember. She doubles as a toilet. That's why you're able to stream so much. Uh, wow! Yeah. I had thought about that before. You found my secret. It might be one of those chairs. Oh, I know it can get weirder than the I'm here, but she's still really weird. Are we getting weird in here? Whenever is this chat not weird in here? Let's be honest. You're all very weird people, but I like you. So what I'm paying attention to right now is the orbital period. I want to get this exactly to 12 minutes. I'm not going to really have much um, control if I go over, so I just want to go ahead and just get it there and just not let it overdo it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down the thrust limiter down to 5.5. Give it just a few love taps here. So we're really close. That is close enough. But I'm kind of noticing that both of my satellites are kind of in opposite spots. So I think the way that things are going to phase is going to be kind of annoying. Um, also, I'm in this really weird inclined orbit now. Because that's just kind of the way this happened. Uh, this is going to be KERS2. -E Go ahead and activate our... Relay. So one is gonna go ahead and target Moon. Herminus. And we're not gonna deactivate that. We'll go ahead and target the Moon here. For whatever reason, that's duplicating names in the list. And. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, someone in chat just put in quite a pon quite a quite a quandary type of question. If one synchronized swimmer drowns, do all the rest of the synchronized swimmers with her or him drown as well? <laughs> See, that's one of those logic questions that just, like I said, you've got weird people, dude. What's going on? <laughs> I don't even. I haven't had enough tacos for this. Yeah, I haven't had enough coffee to answer that question. I need a lot more coffee to answer questions like that. So now these... Oh, they're kind of drifting away from each other at different rates. Which 
interesting. All right, so now we just need to go ahead and wait for this to phase around. It might be... It might be a while before everything actually does what we want it to do here. Oh, the red dots. Oh, I see. That's, it's coming. Through. Oh, that's the base station. No, yeah. The station there. Interesting. Uh, all right. Oh. Actually, one more and we'll be oh. good. Sorry. I can't get everyone. <laughs> Ow. Like, Ow. I get, have to get the Doppler effect as well. I need a stereo microphone to do it. Ah, this is fine. What mod allows you to change fuel level by percentage in the VAB? Like by percentage, uh, or just just to change it? Because that's a stock feature. To shift the fuel, yes. Uh, also. Those are remote tech base stations. I had them in a previous version, so I added them again. That's why they're there. I need a taco fuel balancer. Am I using yes. a geo orbit? Kind of, but it's all I, I have no control authority over these. Spacecraft, so I really don't know what they're doing. They're just sort of driving on their own. Yeah. Right it's really kind of an you... issue. Wait. Oh, I see, because you've got... Is it... What? Why do you have no... Oh, that's right. I remember now. And of course, the little ant engine has no gimbal. Which yep. Like to the yep. Dang it, me and my suggestion of an ant engine, Jimmy. It's all your fault. See, it's not my, my fault. fault. It's not my why, fault! But why but why aren't you using this doesn't the SAS that you've got have reaction from Shimmy? Which SAS did you use? No SAS. No, which sorry, which probe part did you use? The smallest one. Okay. That doesn't have Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, okay, that. so Oh you didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, oh. it's an eh yeah, close enough orbit. Yeah, exactly. I'll I'll launch better ones in the future. Just as long as I can relay signals. Uh, reliably, for yeah. a while, that's good. Yeah, 1960 sat tech, exactly. Um, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and take a moment to plug a YouTuber. I don't know if any of you have heard of him, um, but it's, he goes, uh, he doesn't go by. His name is Bob Fitch. He's actually yes. a Blizzard employee. He works, his main project, he works, he's like the technical lead or something, or a developer. He's not. A, he's not a dev. I don't think he's. No, he's like he's. He's one of the. One of the somebody in management for Hearthstone, the card game that Blizzard is doing. So he works on that, but he does a YouTube series on YouTube. Huh. Oh wow, isn't that amazing? Uh, of, of various things, and he's really really good. Um, yeah, I started watching amazing. the Project Alexandria videos today. They are jam-packed full of... It's it's like watching the History Channel, but in Kerbal Space yeah. Program. It's amazing. He's just, he's just very, very good at doing that. Yeah. And he's someone you can listen to, and you can just yeah. watch it and have it on, and his, it, just, it just works. He just... He knows his stuff, and he talks his stuff, and it's pretty freaking amazing. Yep. Project Alexandria is what he's called it. It's kind of like a, like sort of a history channel sort of thing. Where he talks about the space race and all that. He's lead programmer, is he? Yeah, he's. Like, I'm not sure. I can't remember what he said he was. Alright, so we're just about to get this thing close to a little period here. Technical director. Technical, yeah, that's what I thought it was, technical director. Yeah.
He's a pretty cool guy. He makes video games and doesn't afraid of anything. Nice use of meme. <laughs> uh, that's an oldie but goodie. That was one of my favorites. Furiously hitting the uh, keyboard there, but we are close to GT Ge Geostationary. Let's go ahead and activate our solar panels. I'll we'll be doing the next one in a while. We are stable. Power here. Target. Active vessel. We don't have to worry about that. Yes, the targeting the other things as it creates duplicates. Oh, this one isn't creating duplicates. Well, that's good. Target. Minimus. There we go. One last to do. <laughs> this orbit is even worse. It's like I'm creating a, I don't know what I'm creating. Just some sort of weird, funny sort of system here. Shh. Shippy, yeah. you're creating the future. The future. The future is now. Just, it is. It is. Well, actually, the future is in the future, because I'm in your future, <laughs> sir. Do they have hoverboards yet? Because I was promised hoverboards, self-drying yeah, clothes. Um, uh, the weather service, where they actually create the weather. Yes. Not yet. No. We're getting there. There we go. All right. Uh, do? I have a website. <laughs> do I? Yeah, I do. It has nothing on it. <laughs> I mean, it was like 18. That was a long time ago. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away. Do you happen to know a gentleman with a weird breathing? And he walks around with a giant lightning sword. What are you talking about? Darth Vader. No. What? Okay. Who? Just, oh. I was in a galaxy far, far away. It's oh, all right. okay, yeah. All right. Continue I like, on. I totally, the, the joke just whooshed over my head. Yeah, it's all right. I need more coffee. No, I need more coffee. I didn't have my second <laughs> caffeinated drink today. Well, I probably need more coffee in order to make logical sense and reason. Our children... Mike, I... No. The answer is no. Not that the... I don't, that's just not even... What is going on with your chat, Jimmy? Your chat! It's out of control! I think technically it would be able to if they had a parental guardian unit, right? Yeah, <laughs> parental unit. Uh, R18, no. R18 is restricted, which means you, if it's uh, PG13... R18 or just R? R18. Oh, well, R. R we don't even have that rating Oh, here. R. Yeah, well, I think R rating there is... Well, it's called R18 here, but I think over there R is strictly 18, I think. Something like that. No, I... I, uh, I, I don't remember, remember. I don't remember seeing like like Gattaca or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Was that was that rated R? I don't think so. I just remember. No, I saw Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Them? Yeah, yeah. No, that was totally rated R. That was yeah. That would have been R because it was pretty gory, funny as all heck, and I, it was nice to see all of the humor taken from the book too because the book is actually really funny as well. Dang it, I keep getting this phasing off. Let's do it again. Your, fa your phasing is off, Shimmy. You need to decelerate more. Or less or something. Yeah, so for, for the UK's R18 rating, I think we've got a similar rating methodology to the UK. So 18, a restricted rating means basically you have to be 18 years and older. So it's effectively AO. 
Uh, so we've we've got R18 here, so it's a kind of like a mixture of the two, US and UK. But yeah, it's it's strict rating. Although I'm sure children do go see R18 movies all the time, but theoretically it's a R17 plus in the US. Yeah. So I put up sp satellites. Yes, I did. They're kind of crappy. They're kind of in a really crappy situation, but they're here and they'll stay here for a while. Yeah, I mean they did an okay job. The first one, the rest of the the rest of the silly movies were very stupid, but the first one wasn't bad. The, I mean, the thing is, they were trying to yeah. The the book is the book has some fairly subtle humor in it, very dark humor, but it's very very good. The movie they had to oversimplify a few things to suit Americans, I suppose. doing the last burn here. Luckily I gave these things plenty of Delta V, so I didn't skip out on the fuel tanks. But how much does it take to to add a larger fuel tank, you know? How's the evening going for you? I mean, evening's going okay. Got these weird satellites. Um, they're kind of in this really weird orbit sort of thing. Kind of, kind of very interesting looking in a way, but uh, yeah. We'll have plenty of satellite coverage for a while until we actually launch better satellites. Oh, I like this. So you're just going to basically carp it. Oh, that actually works, dude, because of the angle. If you just kept adding more and more <laughs> of them, you would eventually get this lovely spherical <laughs> bunch of orbits. It'd be great. I don't think the next one is going to do the same. Well, maybe it will. I don't know. Honestly, if it works, don't knock it. It looks cool. All right, so we're going to pay attention to the orbital period here. Uh, when it gets up to close to 12 hours, then that means we are close to being done with this situation here. Slinky Sat Network is yeah. operation. I require more coffee, I think, is is the general statement I would make at this point. I'm reading up through chat. I just made a mistake of, don't read the comments. There's <laughs> so, reading, reading chat. There's a like, reason I just, why I probably don't pay attention to chat. Yeah, like, subconsciously, it, times, I've just learned. Yeah, it's, sometimes chat is amazing, and then other times it's like, what planet are you on? And whatever it is, can I have some? Because it looks freaking awesome. I still don't understand what you're saying. So, yes, I need more of me. No, I don't. I actually need less of me. But anyway. All right, this burn's almost over. I'm gonna go nice. ahead and activate the satellites. Uh, yes, commission Skynet. Yes. Do it. Do it now. Skynet. It's Skynet. Operational. Yeah. It's all happening. Oh, I went over. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I can That's just wait, a... like, till we're on the opposite side of the orbit, and then, uh. Yeah. And then just kind of just undo it. it. 
Undo, undo. I think this one is really. Yeah, it's twelve hours and three point seven seconds. Hey, that's a big deal. Yeah, well, I suppose three seconds is a big deal. After about four thousand, forty thousand orbits, it'll be a big deal. Yeah. yeah well, you know, how long I have to wait for these things to finish? Yeah, I suppose that's completing. true. Completing forty thousand orbits is like one rocket. Maybe the maybe Kerbals will have hoverboards by then. Well, that's possible. All right, let's go ahead and thrust limiter to five point five. A tad bit. Yes. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I I know. I know. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. <clears throat> All right. Activate. Activate, please. Activate. Hack. Activate. Activate. Yeah. Activate. Active vessel. And a moon. And not deactivate it. Whoops. We're just making sure these things can they work. Uh and Minmus. And we're done. The KRES Ooh, network well done. is ready. It's kinda nice. crappy, but it's it's ready. Go ahead and rename this. KRES. Not not K R E S K E R A S K Kurs Kurs Kerbal Relay System Kerbal System Kerbal Relay System Yes, the E is silent. Yes, that's the spirit. We want a real hoverboard, Stephen. Ones that even don't work on water. Maybe that's maybe in the future. In Back to the Future, they just thought, like, everything, like, was made out of magnets or something. And that's how it worked. Yeah, but this is the thing. All science works with magnets, yeah. I mean, this Yeah. That's how it works. Science is magnets. Magnets are science. That's how, how, how we figured it all out. Have I figured out how to get my shuttle in 6.4? It makes it into almost orbit. It's the mm. re-entry is the problem. It's, it's, it's and the flight, going up is fine. It's yeah. coming back down. The rocket part works. Yeah, the going up is great. The coming down, eh, not so much. But that's that was always going to be a, a problematic thing to do. Yeah. With RSS and deadly reentry, it's going to be tough. <laughs> yes, how do magnets work? Um. Well, when the North Pole and a South Pole like each other very much. Actually, no, that doesn't work that way, does it? Actually, no, it does, sort of. But no. Opposites attract. Opposites attract. With magnets. Okay. With and that. other things too. Yeah. What am I doing? What is what is going on? What's going what is the on? world? What what is what is happening? I believe you are putting satellites in orbit and pushing the on button. All science works with lasers. Lasers and magnets. It's like shuttles and tacos. Tacos and shuttles and tacos. Did you highlight that taco shuttle reenactment, no. Shimmy? No, why would I do that? That'd get me kicked because off KSP funny. TV. Yeah, because it's funny. That's why you highlight it. It's gonna be like, this is inappropriate. This taco. This is this seems to be an inappropriate. What are you doing with that shuttle, Shimmy? Well, they see there's this shuttle and this taco truck. And they like each other very <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Blame the magnets. It's the magnets' fault. Okay, so that's, this has been an interesting first episode of 
entertaining. Of sure. uh, this save thing. <laughs> um, it's getting to that time of the day. And it's really yeah, fun. it is. It yeah. is. I don't think I'm gonna go no. very long for this uh, for this stream today. Um, this stream for about. For oh, now I'm getting frame drops. So that maybe that's a sign yeah, too. Yeah, uh, I'm just really, you're starting to sound a bit Darth Vader-ish as well, which is usually a sign. Uh, my internet, who knows? No, I, I dropped like 200 frames or something like that. So anyway, um, next time I should be streaming should be on Sunday. I don't think I'm gonna do an after stream today. I want to be able to. Yeah, it's kind of late. I would have already been doing after streams in in my uh, other. You know, on my other schedule. But anyway, um, go ahead and take a look at the schedule down there. I should be streaming uh, 3 p.m. my time. So that's 5 p.m. Eastern or 2 p.m. Pacific on Sunday. Uh, if you want to get updates, you know, consider following me on Twitter. It's my twiddle ha twiddle? Twitter handle right there. I'll be putting updates there. The recording of this video will be put on my YouTube and... Uh, if you need to watch that again, or if you want to watch it. Anyway, so, um, yep, that's it for me. Once again, I have Coffee online with me today. Coffee is also a streamer, streams KSP, and other things. When's the next time you're going to be streaming, buddy? Uh, uh, probably tomorrow, maybe? Whatever. Tomorrow is in... Is... I don't Either know. Either tomorrow, tomorrow or Monday. So you. tomorrow, tomorrow for me is Sunday, which is Saturday for you. In the next 24 to 48 hours, I'll be streaming again, pretty much guaranteed. Soon. I just don't know when. Uh, Remote Tech allows dishes and... Oh, wait, maybe they don't. I really don't know, honestly, Aqualux. So you're saying you're streaming sometime in the future. Yeah. Follow yeah, Coffee it'll... and you'll find out. Yeah, just follow me and you'll see it go live. I, I try and... Uh, yeah, I'm streaming during the middle of the day for me, which is works out pretty good, but it's not normal time for me because work usually, so. Okie doke. Um, we've got some other streamers here. Uh, Shenrir is uh, streaming. I know Shenrir has been streaming, like, a lot these days uh, for KSP. I don't know if you've noticed that. There's quite a few people that have been streaming yeah. KSP, like. There's a lot. There's a lot going on, but then people are kind of digging zero nanny. I think this person's name is Chicken Poodle Soup. I don't know. I'm actually just because of that name. Yeah, it's just weird. Seems appropriate. <laughs> Chicken Poodle Soup. We've got plenty of uh, streamers here, so if you want to go and watch some more KSP, I saw Shenrir's, um a good stream. I haven't seen any of these others. I've seen Lanyard. Lanyard's good. Uh, anybody else? Got a lot of people streaming KSP. Just because of the sales, people got KSP. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Anyway, see y'all later. Thank you for the follows and the donations. Thank you very much. Very appreciative of that. That um, helps me continue to stream at this uh, quality and... Uh, and consistency um, and you know helps me even you know do more so anyway see you all later once again I'm shimmy keep on questing quest knots follow all my stuff do it follow follow the shimmy you you are required to follow shimmy <laughs> press the follow button now do it do it, do it now all right later y'all see ya.